The stream is starting soon. In the meantime, enjoy some music. Hi, this is Fat Kevin, and when I'm not enjoying the conquering of 60 double cheeseburgers, I'm listening to Liam's live streams. They're so good, I like these 60 double cheeseburgers. Well, 50 died now.
The stream is starting soon. In the meantime, enjoy some music.
well, this is my marathon now. <laughs> The stream is starting soon. In the meantime, enjoy some music. Ruga likes Liam's live streams. <laughs> they aren't bad, coming from a surface dweller. <laughs> you muck it. Hello, everyone, and welcome! It is the Super Liam Marathon stream, a stream that a lot of you have been waiting a very long time for, and I am so glad to be able to bring it to uh, to you. And I also want to welcome in right away my guest host, Athir. Hello. Hi. Hello. You're, you're, you're on the radio. Oh, we're live? Yeah, you, oh, we're, we're live. Guys. Yeah. Hello. We've, yeah. We've no. been live for the last little while. We've. Um, oh. Hey everyone! Did you guys enjoy X One? I uh, I thought yep, that was pretty X1. cool. 
Uh, uh, Garrett Brown says, hey, long time no see. Cool new intro theme. Uh, yeah, this is more the marathon intro theme. Don't worry, yeah, it hasn't changed. Yeah, the marathon changed. thing. That there was a little mad at me. He's like, why are you using this? But this is like the yeah, marathon Yeah, I don't music. understand why he ch- he's changing it up. But he's like, oh, it's the marathon stuff. We always do it for the marathon. Listen, it's the same reason why I play all the Galaga 88 stuff. Man, that's like a marathon thing. Uh, one thing I also do for marathons of theory is energy drinks. Today is sponsored by Uptime. Uptime Blood Orange. Uptime um, Blood Orange. Also, there you go. want to thank, and I will get to so many of you have written in, um, and I will say hello in just a moment. I do want to thank the fine folks at HKC Radio for letting me be one of their kick ass creatives today and streaming over there. Uh, you can visit hkcradio.com to learn more. And actually, you can ask your smart speaker or Siri to play HKC Radio right now. And if you do that, you can listen to us on your phone or your smart speaker of choice. So, uh, yeah, man, it is. Uh, listen, this is this is a long time coming, um, isn't it? Like, really? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, man, this has been like this. This is a stream where. I, I think Liam and I have kind of talked about it and been like, why haven't, why hasn't this happened sooner? And it just didn't feel like the time was right. I, I kind of wanted to to wait a little bit. I wanted to kind of, I wanted the game to turn eighteen, and uh, I yeah. was going to do it this summer. I'll talk about why. Now it's legal. Uh, yeah. Now, now Almost. it now it can smoke, right? Because you could be eighteen to smoke. I think. Yeah. No, I think twenty one to smoke. Is it actually, twenty one to smoke. Yeah, I believe it is 21 to smoke. Yeah, same as Can you tell that I've never smoked? He's never smoked. No. Um, He's never smoked. X1 is so out of date, he's running Windows XP. So let's just start saying hello to people. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Connor. Uh, Hello, Werner. Yeah, so many people said hi from the beginning. Hello, Kavya. Hello to all of you. Godfather, Stephen Crouch, Garrett Brown, uh, Brian with a whole bunch of numbers. Yeah, um, I know a few people said that they were going to be playing along. Yeah, uh, including uh, Blindside Gaming. And Lexi's going to be playing uh, along Lexi. too. I think. Yeah. Yep. Uh, let's see. Oh, James uh, is. Uh, oh, he's uh, traveling and can't sleep. So I think James is in Australia. So he's uh, up listening to us. So uh, good day or good night, nice. I guess. Oh, and Shane is here. Shane Davidson. All right. So, wow, everyone is um, here. And this is, I mean, oh, Brian McKinnish is here. Uh, Stephanie is Somebody, here. Somebody, uh, oh, Warhawk is here. Warhawk. Hey, Warhawk. Wow. Acer BT is um, here. Somebody asked how Cassandra is. Uh, Cassandra's doing good. Um, Acer said hello. Hey, Acer. Um, Gates, I, I don't think that's how you pronounce that. Um, is here. I so there's a lot of people's names I can't pronounce. Of uh, uh, theirs, I think yeah. There, there's a lot of people we can't pronounce. We're very sorry if we butcher your names. We really are. We don't mean to. So while we are uh, streaming this, also I, I want to let you guys know that there is a listening party on Quentin C. Uh, so on oh, first room. donation, Liam. Oh, I it hasn't popped up yet. Hold on. Wait okay. for it. These these are a little delayed, but they will come through. Um, yep. but I, it hasn't, yeah, I don't know where, where it's blind life gaming. James Thank Dean you. said hi I to a fear. I don't, oh, there it is. Blind life gaming donated four pounds and 49 pence through super chat. Here we go. Thank the you so much. Has finally arrived. Yes. I will be here as long <laughs> as I can and try not to fall asleep. Well, Lily had to change oh. the spelling. Oh, you have to call me <laughs> Lily. Listen, it's all right. So um, one of the reasons that we're doing this now and not um, in June, because that's really when the game came out was the end of June. Yeah, it came uh, out in the summer. 20, 2004. Oh, my God. 2004. Um, is uh, I'm going to be moving in April. So the moving date is pretty much set. The van is rented. Um, but I am going to try to raise a little money for moving. Um, it's going to help. With just Please help. the cost for some boxes, some assistance, things like that. Hashtag um, save Liam. Yeah, save Liam. So hashtag um, help Liam move. You know that's that's kind of what we're doing. But the important thing today is this: I want to talk about Super Liam. I want to play Super Liam. I want to tell stories. Athir has a lot of stories to tell because Athir is a very close collaborator. 
um, when I was building the game and really helped kind of shape some things about it and um, watched me play it constantly. I think in mono. So many times. Right? Because we don't, I don't think we have stereo voice chat. Yes. It was always in mono back then. We were on Ventrilo. So Ethereum is getting a real treat. He's going to, oh, thank Lucas you. Lucas Hosnell donated 499 check to run through Super Chat. Hey, guys. Got so hyped by the little medley. I bought SL when it first came out. I was 14 back then. Wow. Oh, my God. So much nostalgia. That's Can't amazing. Can't wait to get to know some behind the Oh, it cut, sorry, Lucas. Oh, no, it, it, it cut only, out. Yeah, it only lets you get like 200 characters. But, oh, Super Freak is here. Um, Yeah, thank you so, so uh, much for doing this. It was behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. Thank you for so much for doing this. Jason Smith is here. Super Freck is here. Stella's here. Colby and Amanda's channel is here. Yeah, I didn't... Blind Life Gaming donated one pound and seventy nine pence through Super Chat. Hashtag feed Liam. Oh, is Stella your cat? Yeah. Hashtag help Liam move. James Malone says, "I think I'm in Australia too." <laughs> um, since oh, you levels, got another donation. Since the levels are always always the same, I think we should synchronize as much as possible. Yeah, you could try. I mean, we're gonna pause a lot because yeah, I'm gonna try to explain. that's gonna be hard. Yeah, especially since Liam is probably gonna die a lot. Probably. That's kind of mean, actually, Ethere. That was rude. I mean, it's true. Don't make fun of the fact that I have a hearing issue. I'm not making fun of that. Levi, thank you so much. It's going to pop up here in a second. Levi Gobbin donated $9.99 through Super Chat. There you go. Oh, SLJ is there here. There was no comment with um, it. Cool. And thank you so much. Uh, also, too, don't forget there is a donate link. Um, if you use the donate link, it makes the monkey sound go off, and I usually jump out of my chair and maybe poop. My oh, yeah, he does. Super Freak says it's Super Freak, Commander Uther. Sorry, Super Freck, that I messed up your name. <laughs> Uther. I'll call you Super Freak from now on. Does that mean we have to do a Judgment Day stream in a couple of years? Oh, gosh. I have a lot of explaining to do on a Judgment um, Day stream. Yes, you do. Yep, I have a lot of explaining to You're do on a Judgment Day You're still kind of in stream. trouble with me for that. Um. I know. I'm looking forward to that day. Shane Early donated nine euros. Shane Early, thank you so much. Through Super Chat. Jesus, this game is older than me. <laughs> yeah, and you know, that's the crazy <laughs> thing, right? Like, um, there's a whole new generation of people that are finding this game. Um, so, I mean, where do we start? Do we, I mean, do we, do we start? Hold on. So Shane just donated yeah. and said, Jesus, this game is older than me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <coughs> I believe it's older than Acer, too. Acer is not 18 yet. Well, that's crazy. But yeah, I mean, so let me, well, you know what we need to do, actually? Uh, and I forgot, yeah. and I apologize. Patrons. Um, Patrons! These these streams, honestly, we would not have this stream today if it weren't for patrons. Um, I would not be streaming if it weren't for patrons. So I want you to give a special extra thank you to all the patrons. Because honestly, like real talk for a moment, if I did not have patrons, I would be doing something else. I wouldn't be streaming games. Um, so uh, this is a day today, especially I think should be Patreon Appreciation Day. Um if it was not for patron, uh, Patreon and patrons, there we wouldn't be talking about Super Liam right now. So big thanks to Marco Garitoni, Doug Shock, Crystal Bell, Jessica Miller, Wandering Waves, Michael Lau, James Dean, Jim Denham, Anya Kristen, Trevor Johnson, Kevin Lyons, Stephen Luttrell, Simon Yeager, Shane Davidson, Austin Nix, Sarah Hawk, Jason Smith, Blind Life Gaming, Michael Welty, Luna Raven, Heather Messaker, Audio Game Geek, Melissa Rowe, Hillary Duncan, Ashley Coleman, Shane Erlay, Courtney Barton, Bryant, Brian T. I still I need to fix this. Roland and Goldstein. Brian T. I know, but that's it came in as Brian T. All one word, and I just have never. Uh, Kenny Abdullah Dubase, Changeling, and Jack Filichek. So thanks to, I mean, just an extra special thank you to patrons for keeping streams going. Um. Before we get fully into Super Liam, since I have you all here, I want to make an announcement really quick. Um, I am expecting a... No. Um, that's not the announcement. Um, Scramble 
by Steve is being released on, I, I believe, Friday. So if you have watched me play Scramble on past marathons and be like, wow, that game's really cool. When's it coming out? Is it coming out? Yes, this weekend it will be out. Um, I will be streaming it on Saturday. Steve will be launching it, I guess, on his stream, his podcast, whatever, on Friday. Um, please, please, please check it out. Uh, I don't have a link right now, so I apologize for not being able to directly link it. But uh, it is going to be out. I believe it is sixteen dollars and forty eight cents, which is the most arbitrary. Lucas Hosen will donate four hundred and ninety nine check to run through Super Chat. Hashtag move Super Liam. Hashtag move Super Liam. <laughs> um, so uh, Scramble's coming out next week. I am really excited about it. I think it's a game you're going to love. So please check it out. Please buy it. Um, and if that's not enough, I'm in the game. Uh, I am the voice of Mr. Scramble, and uh, I have a badge named after me. There's a uh, there's a Liam badge. So that's kind of cool. So please check that out. Um, is it going to be on Mac? Um, not initially. I don't know. So I don't want to speak for Steve. Um, so let me just say that. Like, I don't Devin want... Devin Gutierrez donated $10 oh, thank through Thank you. Super Chat. When I was eight in 2009, I traveled to an uncle's house and was shocked his computer didn't have SL installed. Begged and cajoled until he installed the demo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Acer said it came out about a half a year before he was born. Wow. Stephen Crouch said he found about it in 2012. That's amazing. Yeah, James says, Scramble, really? Finally, I'm so excited. Um. Yes, Scramble is long, coming out. I'm going to buy it too. I'm I wonder how long it'll it. take Liam to memorize the. I'll never memorize the list. He'll never I've memorize tried. the list. The list is always getting updated and this and that. No, he'll never get it uh, memorized. I'm surprised you don't want. To, oh, I oh, punched a copy monkey. For you, oh my god. Oh. How must you donated ten dollars? Oh, Let's thank punch you. a monkey for the awesomeness that is Super Liam. Thank there you, you go. I appreciate that so much. Um, okay. So, um, where do we start with Super Liam? I mean, I guess start with the idea. Start with the idea. I think that's a good way to start. Like, okay. what, what brought it into mind and so, how you coded the first side scroller? I mean, if you want to, like, start with what, what really brought Super Liam into being, it was I always wanted to make a game. So, I always played video games growing up. I always thought they were interesting and I wanted to make one. And I was really annoyed with the fact that as blind gamers, we didn't have a lot of games. And yeah, we had some cool games. Like, I mean, I grew up when Grizzly Gulch first came out. I was like 15. That was kind of a big deal. Um, some people may remember that. Some of you are too young to remember that. And that's amazing. But um, that was kind of a big deal. Now, it I don't think it's aged well at all. But it was the first true mm -mm. fully audio game like with acting and music and sound effects and everything um and so it was a big deal i mean it, i would say grizzly gulch is also very historically significant um it definitely has not aged well at all but i, I would say it's very important so i was like you know i want to do this i want to make games that we don't have and i always feel like 2000 to maybe 2010, 2008, were like the golden age of audio games because everybody was making stuff and they were making stuff that was fun. So there was like it was good. BSC games. There was like GMA. There was, I mean, to a ESP lesser extent. software. Yeah, yeah Lworks. Um, I mean, and I don't- Lworks, yep, I don't all of them. Count myself as making really prolific games, although, I mean, we're, we are talking about a game that I made, so I guess- it's not necessarily true, but, um, but I mean, and also Liam, like you're kind of selling it a little short because Super Liam wasn't the first game you coded. No, no. I mean, there was guess the number, which, you know, the less said, the better. Um, there was super shot, which was a really simplistic concept, but I wanted to show that you could make games that were fun and simple and engaging. And that's always, if you'll notice, um, I have a tendency to make very simple games and I like to make games that you can pick mm -hmm. up and play. That's always been my big thing. Can I make a game that you can pick up and learn to play in a few minutes? Um, that's Carter always... thinks that the golden age... Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I thought you were done. No. Um, 
Connor thinks that the golden age was from 2002 to 2015. Yeah, and then I it started to slide down. 15, from, I kind of agree with that. Yeah, I, I feel like 15 Even might 15 be pushing was a little it, late. But I do yeah. feel like that 2002 in, in that era it was really when everyone was making them. And, and we all felt one of the, the big beliefs that people had was we could do this full time and it was a viable career. And I think people are unfortunately realizing that it's hard to make it a full time career. But in, in those days, like nobody knew that you couldn't or you they just wanted to try it. Mm-hmm. It was like, can we do they this? Did. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can do this. There were a lot of forays into different like things. Yeah. Some of them worked out really well. Some of them utterly flopped. Some, yeah. But the ones that ended up working out left a serious impression on us. No, like, for sure. Later on. Um, so when I started kind of learning to code, I was like, I want to make games. It's something I've always wanted to do. Um, I took some classes in high school, learned a lot about, I mean, this like visual basic is what we were using. So I learned about that, learned about how to do sound and how to make things work. And, and it, it like things kind of came together and I started building this game. And, and I remember thinking to myself, I'm like, could I make a game like what I used to play as a kid? Like kind of like Mario, could I do that? And I was like, yeah, okay. I think we can. And then I started to think about, well, what would my game be? And uh, ever since I was a kid, I always imagined this stupid Super Liam character. Uh, I would go sit out on the the swings in the playground. That was like my favorite thing to do. Go out, sit in a swing, and just zone out for 30 minutes. Like, if I had a swing that would hold my fat self, I'd probably go sit in it. And I'm sure there are swings that can hold your fat, ugly, kick, miserable self. Kick my legs and just zone because it is the most relaxing thing in the universe. Um, and I loved it. I actually, I got to tell you, I was so sad when I went to high school and there were no more swings. Uh, I was like, <laughs> where's my happy place now? You had swings in your middle school? Yeah, because my middle school was a um, K through eight. Oh, okay. So um, I would go sit in the swings. Um, what is Super Liam written in wants to know, Mitch? Oh, hold on. Oh, Pittman says uh, 2008. No, Pipe 2 came out in 04, actually. In fact, I'm gonna. I'll talk about that yeah. in a second. Um, Patrick Kelly donated nineteen dollars. Thank you, Patrick. Through super chat, appreciate you adding both control keys to SL. I did, and you know that's um yes. that was for Patrick actually. Um, I did that because Patrick emailed me. He was like, "Hey, I have an issue with my one hand. Can you make like a one-handed mode?" And I actually went out of my way and made sure that we had both control keys. So. Um, you're welcome. I'm, you know, thank you. And and thank you for asking me because I would have never thought of it. Um, uh, what did uh, I write it in? So it was Visual Basic 6 because that's what was popular then. Um, Blind Gamer says, to be honest, I've always considered you to be the GOAT or the, goat the or- most influential person in the audio community uh, or the audio gaming community. I don't know about, th- I don't know about most influential. And I, I, I don't. I, I mean, I appreciate that sentiment, um, and I, you know, I, and I, I do not think I am the greatest of all time, and I, I don't want to be the greatest of all time. But what I've always said is, I just want to do things that people enjoy, and I do truly feel blessed that I've made things that you guys love enough to, I mean, talk about right now. Listen, we're all here talking about Super Liam, right? Like, I mean, about something that I did 18 years ago when I was in high school. Um. Yeah, Super Freaks the same. I did the swing zoning as well. It was wonderful. And so, it was just a great... Sterlock's... Mm-hmm. Sterlock said something that I, I don't actually remember you telling me about. So he said that you apparently called one of Rawls kids one day and wished him a happy birthday um, as Super yes, Liam. Yes. And that's one so, of his favorite memories. Um, Roll Gallegos, who's done a whole bunch of game playthroughs, who is like amazing at Lone Wolf, by the way. I he is. I love watching his playthroughs of that thing. Mm-hmm. Um, he had called me, and I think it was his son. Was it Tristan? And he was like, "Hey, he's gonna have a birthday. Can you call him as Super Liam? He watches me play these games. He was a sighted kid, um, but he used to like like that's what him and his dad did. They would he'd play games, and Tristan would watch him play it. And I'm like, yeah. So I, I called the Super Liam, and that was I, I think that was kind of when it became real for me. Like when I kind of like was like, wow, what I'm doing is actually impacting people. Um, so, but yeah, no, I, then that is truly, um, pretty awesome. But 
Um, so Super Liam, interesting. I so fun fact, right? Super Liam is not the first game to side scroll. Um, Pipe Two is the first game to side scroll. But Super Liam was the first full right, side scrolling right. game. But Pipe Two came out a month before Super Liam Two, and I remember this because um, they were going to work on a side scroller and actually scrapped it because I was working on Super Liam. Mm-hmm. And actually, Daniel had said to me, he's like, "Listen, he's like, I'm going to let you have this one." Like he's like, I like what you're doing. I'm going to let you have it. And I I thought that was always really generous of him. Um, that is awesome. Of yeah, him. yeah, no, and he was I always mean, good peoples though. No, he really. Um, I always I, wish that he would uh, he would have continued developing games. Yeah, he but was, now I think he's doing. I don't know what he's doing, but I think he's making buffalo monies. So I don't. I, yeah, him. I hope he's doing well. Um, James Malone wants to see a game where Liam is a literal goat. <laughs> Liam Goat Simulator. Uh, right so that and i just oh Pittman pointing out the the question i, I just answered so yeah uh pipe 2 w- had the first side scrolling concept but super liam 2 was the first side scro- super liam was the first side scroller let's not talk about two let's not go there um pipe 2 is the first lucas has an interesting top five list uh-huh um, he says he's among you. You're among his top five, and then he lists them in order: David North, or I'm sorry, David Greenwood, uh-huh. James North, mm-hmm. you, Munewer, and Philip. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely, for sure. Uh, um, David Greenwood is is just on a whole David other Greenwood level is of amazing. amazingness. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's he's he surpasses everyone I've ever met. I think if he could have done that full time. Um, he would have blown everyone out of the water. Um, yeah. So let's see. Sorry, I was just looking at. So Trenton wants to know uh, what the motivation was behind changing the mode uh the music from a calm elevator and swing style music to the like fast paced thing that we have now. um so if you're referring to like should we should i break out of one of the old concept demos yeah let's let's break out i'm just gonna i'm not gonna there's several demos several betas we don't have time to play through all of them let me pick the no. old one i like the oh. i punched a monkey oh dear Levi donated three dollars X one point three. The monkey puncher decided to punch three monkeys in a row, <laughs> and decided to continue making robo calls and trying to tell the best jokes to people, and doing lots of prank calls. I'm waiting for it. To- oh, oh! You actually got it all in the box. I was like, "Is wow. it going to make it? Is it going to cut off?" No, it, it made it. So, Dan Z says that uh, David Greenwood works as a professor in computer science. Really, in Canada. That's awesome. Good for him. Good. I, I for believe him. that. It's crazy because I saw a few free games uh, newly released on GMA's website. Shane Hurley says, I was "Please do talk about it the other Please day. do talk about Super Liam too." <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's break out. This is the uh, one of the original concept demos. I believe. I don't know if this has a. Um, Oh, wow. January 2nd, 2003. Okay. Oh, wow. So this does have a date on it. Yeah. So this would be before the awful hard drive crash. This is, um, yeah, this is, um, I am in my first senior year of high school. I was a super senior. So this is like the right middle. Um, and this is the concept demo I released. And uh, this does not have um, cutscenes. Uh, there is another later demo nope. that has different cutscenes. I don't want to get into all that um, because, I mean, we're going to be here for a while, but still. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a test. Please choose an option from the following. Menu. So let's start, start with this start. music, right? Yes. Um. Maybe you know what I should do, actually, uh, Ethereum. Maybe I should play something. Uh, let, let, let me actually go back into this folder. Uh, you want some stuff that you didn't hear? 
Mm-hmm. You've heard it, but I don't think these guys have ever heard it. Oh, yeah. I don't so think they have. The original um, music, actually, so that was actually supposed to be Level 1's music. Um, fun fun fact, uh, that was Level 1's music. <laughs> mm-hmm. Connor says, this sounds like Super Liam <laughs> indulging. Oh, no. In controlled substances. All right. So here is... Crash Poke says, hey, cousin. Hey, Trent. All right. So this is the original, which you know. By the way, I found the original file. Oh, good. God, Liam sounds so young. You see? There's the original. It's even got the ender. Um, and so if you're wondering where that comes from, let me play this for you. And then I will play the, where that music comes from. Um, so this, a theory is music that no one has ever heard before. This was actually the original beach music. Punch it. And it sort of loops. I had I didn't correctly loop it, but that is the original beach music that we ended up not using. But uh, if if you're wondering, like, that seems like a very arbitrary theme song, right? Like mm-hmm. the whole do 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 do. What what is that? Where does that come from? Uh, let me tell you. So uh, in 2000, I started doing internet broadcasting, and um, I needed a theme song. I didn't need a theme song, but um, you know, he always, wanted a theme. Always song. wanted a theme song. Um, Greg Brayton, God rest his soul, who is a truly amazing mu- musician, actually, who's one of one of his pieces you actually just heard in the intro. Um, it was the second piece with the guitars and stuff. Um, was um made me a, a theme song, and there's a little sort of story behind this. Um, when I was younger, I hung out with everyone that was much older than I was. Um, so I was hanging out with college kids that were like 23, 24, everyone was drinking, partying it up. And I was sitting in the corner, making sure the ice bucket was full. And, um, through a a few other things that I, am not going to get into, um, uh, on the stream, uh, I also gained the nickname, the innocent child. Um, it was kind of sort of because I wasn't as innocent as everyone thought I was, but I was. But I wasn't, if that makes sense. No, um, he wasn't. I gained. No, I was, and that's what was actually really funny about the whole thing. Um, but I, we're, we're not going to get. <laughs> we're not going to get into that story. Um, <laughs> I gained the nickname "The Innocent Child," and so Greg ginned me up a little theme song for when I was on a station called Test Pattern Radio, which had the initials TPR, and it goes something like this. So this is the the Liam Show theme, uh, Thier. And so if you're always wondering, like, if you guys are wondering, what's the what was the da 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 da? This is it. This is where it started. Yes, Lexi, that is the theme he used to use on TPRN. Yeah, yeah. It's this is if you listen to when I did stuff on TPRN, I used the same song. The song is 21 years old. Garrett Brown says that it kind of sounds like the beginning of Super Mario Bros. Uh, Overworld. It, it kind of does. Yeah, that dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Well, it all started because I was humming a, 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 the- a song one day when we were on Ventrilo, and I'm just dun, 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 dun. And when you work with musicians that are really good, they can kind of take your idea and turn it into, you know? <laughs> It just, for whatever reason, it didn't, I don't know why we didn't use it. It just didn't get used. Um, so let's go to this original concept demo. Yeah. Wait, please choose not one. calibrate speakers. Calibrating speakers. Left. 
Right. Calibrate speakers. Start game. Level one. Act one. So we start with this music that is very. Uh, this is from a keyboard sample disc or something. Of course, back in the old days, you couldn't turn the music down. Bow, bow, bow. And there's our first thing right there. Water. And I don't understand why. Like, I will say straight up, I I don't understand why you did not leave the water. In. Because the water is great. I mean, just, you should have left it in. Because if you're in the water. Your gun doesn't work. Yep, that's why you should have left it in. No. Ow! There's the monkeys. By the way, that's going to happen a lot today. Coconuts. We know. Robotic dogs. But you know, when you play this demo, there's a lot of stuff that stays the same. Right? A, a lot of it stays the same. Most of it stays the same. Ow. Um. So, if you're listening to this and you're like, no. ow. Um. If you're wondering, like, why are things in the right? Why are things in the left? I had no way to really tell somebody um, what was forward and behind. But I start. I started to think about it. Actually, it was one night when I was falling asleep. I was like, how do I make so you know that something in front of you is in front of you? And, you know, this was before we had HRTF and stuff. So I was like, well, why don't I just make uh, stuff in front of you to the right side, stuff behind you to the left? I'm like, that's the way it looks on the screen, right? Wow. Super Freak dares you to try to sound like your young self. No, I, I can't. I mean, I'm that dude. I was like probably 17 when I recorded that song. Yeah, there's no way. I there was some. Oh, hey, remember oh. these? They actually had. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> the little like wood steps that lead to the teleporter. Time bonus: 177 points. Your score for this level was. Why does it do that too? You notice that it's like points. Your total score mm -hmm. is. I recorded them and it's like seven points. Not all centered. Level one, act two. Also, yes, I love how the music is faster. Ouch. Ow! So you know the act, the whole act concept was inspired by Sonic. Same thing with yep. the music getting faster. The idea was that the music would change in Act Two. I wanted uh, loops for Act One and Act and Two. And Act Two was always the longest act. Yep. Ugh. Ow! Uh. Ow! Ouch! Ow! Uh oh, hold See, on. See, that is why I would have wanted the water in there still. Three. Shut up. That was not good. I don't think this thing has objects. Also, I love how they don't come no, I don't think towards it does. you. Till the, watch this. Look. Now he comes towards me. I mean, that's how a lot of those old arcade side scrollers used yeah. to be. I don't know if you uh, remember, but like Streets of Rage 2, you would have mobs to the right of you that wouldn't actually um, come at you until you stepped on a certain area. No. Some bosses were like that, and some uh, other mobs were like that. Also, I love that they there's no volume on these things, really. Uh, yep. Ow. Oh god. For freedom. I don't know how you haven't gotten the rhythm of your own monkey trees down. Dude, look. One. I have one. You're about to die. Period. I think I can do it. Yeah. No! Level one. Oh, two. you didn't do it. I didn't do it. I punched a Whoa. monkey. Oh, wait, that was the... And you got punched in the monkey. I remember eight-year-old me laughing it straight with my dad about the coconut monkeys. It's a great memory. Thanks for it. You're welcome. Thank you so much. 
Oh, see, it's, it's a, one of those old Phoebe games that this, all the sound stops when you leave the window. So that's going to be a thing, too, when we're playing this. And I will go to read. So if you're checking, you're going to check messages, right? Yeah. Oh, Pippin says, oh, he actually dodged the monk. I know I did. Oh, God. Smash Poke says, hey, Kentucky. <laughs> Garrett Brown says, when Super Liam came out, I was too little to tie, even tie my own shoes. Ow. Ow. Why can't I avoid these things? This does not bode well for a playthrough. Uh, yeah, Lexi, the laser sound is one of the sounds that definitely changed uh, through the uh, the concept demo, or after the concept demo. Brandon Cross says, Yup, yeah, it was adorable. Yeah, then I don't know what went wrong. Ho oh, 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 ho oh. ho ho ho. Oh wait, no, no. no. Okay. <laughs> this is not cool. Well, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> don't you dare hit me! Oh, oh, you hit me! No, no, no. The Godfather says that that teleporter mod was actually used in uh, Max Payne. Okay. Oh. The Max Payne mod. Oh, there's an item. Oh, there is. I don't know what it did, though. 15. It didn't tell us what it did. No. Two. I have two lives. I hate you, monkeys. I hate you. <laughs> this is kind of scary. Ow. What's that little clink sound that happens sometimes? Clink sound? Like electronic coin dropping or something. That might be in the music. It's in the music, I think. Patrick Kelly says, can't remember who, but somebody did a futuristic uh, thing with this uh, street loop. Ow. Oh. Oh, what the heck? Oh, wow. That was the trick teleporter. That's genius. I forgot about that. I forgot about that, too. That was kind of cool. Uh, Colby and Amanda's channel wants to know what do I do to update the sound pack for this, Liam? Uh, this, uh, this is the older demo. Like, you can't get a lot of this. Your score for this level was 1,365 points. Your total score is 2,052 right, so points. Airbot, right? Level 1, yeah. 3. Wait, how did he hit me? Oh, he you're too close to him. He, you're too close to him. Oh, I forgot. Also, I love how there's water there. Yep. Look at this. Super Freck likes the old uh, laser sound more than the new ones that you put in. Me too. I like this boss though. Oh, I got him. And that sound never changed. Thank you. Time bonus. Two hundred. The shoes are also changed. Points. Your score for yeah. this level was five. Uh, Lexi says it doesn't sound like you're running on sand. Yeah, a lot of this stuff changes. Two thousand six hundred thirteen yeah. points. Uh, Rich, uh, this is the like one. original concept. Oh of, God. Of Super Liam. All right. So the street oh, yeah. with no sewer sounds. The telebots. Remember these things? Yes. Uh, these things were cool, so they wouldn't hit you. These things were awesome. They would teleport behind you. Oh, 
So this is where I made one of my biggest mistakes, <laughs> which was jumping. You should never have to press a button to move in the air. You should be able to hold it. But I was really concerned yeah. that people wouldn't understand how far they were jumping. And it was um, Acer says you can get the uh, old concept demos on the old audio game archive. Connor says there's so much stuff you should have left in. I know. Um, Super Freak really likes the music for this level. Damn it. I knew it was going to do that. I actually designed it Mark that way. Mark Miller also likes this track. Uh, no, that other voice that says time bonus, it was definitely Liam. I didn't do any voice work for this no. game. No. It would have sounded awful. Oh, horrible. Man, back in those days when I, I had awful microphones. You're just an awful human. I mean, yeah, but who cares about that? Go. So this music is cool, but it's not mine to use. I was just yeah, using it because, says it, you know, it was there. And it was a concept demo. Yeah. Another person liked uh, the water in the first yeah. level. Oh, I think the water was genius. I, I think it... I don't know why I never brought it back. Ugh. Well, I, I remember why now, and I'll mention it later okay. when uh, we can talk. Well, I think we're almost through this. Yeah, we are. I like how the dogs never changed. Nope, the dogs never changed. Teleporter. Is it a trick teleporter? I don't trust you. Okay, it's not. <laughs> nope, this time you were I, nice to yourself. I, I Listen, I forgot about that. Time bonus. 142 points. Your score for this level was 1,022 points. Your total score is 3,635 points. Way to go, sports fan. You've won. And that's it. So. Yeah. So the reason you told me at the time that you wanted to leave out the water um, from the original first level was that you wanted it to be a engaging but Blind simple first level so that people wouldn't get overwhelmed. Right. Every time the monkey sound goes off, I nearly fall off my chair on my cat lol. <laughs> oh, Your no. Cat. Don't fall on your cat. I mean, I wouldn't mind, but I'm sure your cat would. Athir doesn't like cats very much. No, I sure don't. Like, um, the teleports are in still. They're just different. Right. Sounds. They were. They were different, um, and they they don't have that yeah. wood thing. Right. They don't have the wood like dock sounding sound that. Um, right. All of these ones seem to have, which a lot of people are commenting on chat that they liked a lot of these footsteps more I than too. Uh, the other ones that are being used. Now I think I could like do it better. I have access to so much Patrick more stuff. Kelly says the amount of people who used your numbers in their audio games. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lexi wants to know, how do you know you're near a hole and why do the islands not announce themselves? The holes have like a muddy kind of footstep, They have a two, Lexi. yeah, they have a, a two thing. Now, normally in, in the in the full game, which we'll play, we'll actually start playing in a little while, um, you'll yeah. hear that there is sounds for the drains. But again, this was, so this thing that I just played for you guys, that was a year and a half before the full game. It was, yeah. Yeah. Um, there's another concept demo sort of beta thing. I'm not going to play it because it's kind of more of the same. Um, like there's some slightly different sounds and everything, and, and you can go play it. It's I believe Audio Games Archive has it. Um, but yeah, I mean one of the, one of the things I know that there's been a lot of questions about, like why did you change this and and this and and one of the big things that I was worried about with this game, and I think I worried a little too much, but again, I was in uncharted territory. And my concern was, am I going to make something that is too hard for people? Are they going to understand what's even going on? Can they understand what's going on? So um, that's why, like, I took the water out of the first act or like the first level entirely. You can't stand in those dead spots. 
Um, and, and that's why, like, I simplified a lot of things. And, and if I were going to do it now, I would not have done what I did. But when you are sort of yeah. trailblazing, you don't know where that trail is going to lead. You don't really know if people are going to understand what you're trying to feed them. Basically. Um, I want to answer a few points that were brought up on Quentin's. So um, somebody was like, oh, I thought this was going to be like a, a stream where the game is played through. Um, it is going to be a stream where the game is played through, but it is also going to be a stream where we tell stories about the game and the game's yep. development and like the timeline of how things fell out in the game. Also, too, I do want to thank everyone that's tuned in. Currently, there are 66 people here on YouTube. Um, so thanks to all of you guys that are hanging out. Uh, again, as a secondary thing, where I'm also raising money to help ease the financial cost of the move. Move is coming up in just a couple months. Um, date is set. A van is booked. Um, so anything that you can do to help is appreciated. But uh, first and foremost, what I'd love to have you do is come hang out, watch the stream, um, enjoy it. That's really what we're here for don't forget that we're also on hkc radio big thank you to the hkc radio folks for letting me stream over there um you can actually listen on siri or alexa or your google um just ask it to playstation hkc radio um big thank you as well to ethir for being here big thanks to all you guys for being here big thanks to my awesome patrons who make these streams possible and um again i announced at the top if you missed it scramble is being released this weekend uh, there will be more info soon, so please kind of like stay tuned because, um, oh, you know what I can announce this year? Uh, Tuesday, I have to record the Leftover Mr. Scramble stuff. I'm going to live oh, stream yes. the vocal session. Yep. So if you guys- Ooh, that's going to be fun. If you guys want to hear me record some stuff and kind of like hear what it's like and watch me put effects in and um, do multiple takes and edit and stuff- um, come for that that's going to be cool i think it's 4 p.m eastern on tuesday um i i, I can't do it too late because i'm going to be growling and making noise and stuff so i have to kind of watch how much of that i'm doing uh too late in the evening because people go to bed early here um yeah brennan crosses two days so, after my birthday oh so Lee has a request. Um, they want to know what the old drain sound f sounded like. Oh, the old drain. In. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think what the original was. Um, um, Garrett Brown also says, so I'm really interested in about the sound updates in the 2014 update. And then he said that it was 2014. Right, right. right because... um, I think it was, yeah. So it was after Super Egg Hunt, wasn't it? So what actually happened is I originally was going to do a reworked version with some redone sounds. I was going to update a few things. And so I had started that process. And then when I realized that it just wasn't going to happen, I released it as freeware. And I didn't like change the um, sounds back. So actually what I wanted to do was change them back because I didn't really want to give people the um like those sounds but i forgot when i did it and so people got some updated sounds that i wasn't really gonna release i mean it doesn't it doesn't matter now right but mm -hmm. um it wasn't really what i was going for so i believe it was this that was the that's the same one is it the same one Pretty much. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, harmonica player says that they are listening and they love the behind the scenes stuff from here uh, on Quentin. That's cool. Good. This is playing through my new phone to my new HomePod minis. Eels. eels what what eels? eels? There were no eels. Uh, don't. Yes, uh, I agree. Don't forget to hit the like button if you are watching on YouTube. Hit that like button. And uh, Lexi, we I think Liam answered your question. 4 p.m. Eastern on uh, Tuesday. Tuesday stream. Yeah, I'll be recording um, some scramble voiceovers because um, nothing, <laughs> nothing like doing it last minute, right? Yeah, right. Super Freak says, yeah, it's the same. There's a couple of voiceovers I'm not going to record on stream because we have a couple hidden things we want you to find. 
But um, yeah, overall, I'm going to record um, everything on there. <laughs> Gabe says the old uh, the old sound is the same. The new sound just has him screaming like a little girl before the splash. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I remember that. We have the yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, what was the game over sound? Was it the game over? Ah, uh, yes, it was like the thing I used for Super uh, Shot, yeah. like everything else. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it wasn't bad for the time. I mean, it you know it, it worked. Um, Jarrett so, said you also had an unused door sound in the folder. Right? That yeah, because there was, was going to be able to find the reason for. It. There was going to be doors, and I never coded the doors. So. Um. James is listening to him uh, on his new iPhone. Mark shared the link on an iMessage group. Thank you, Mark. Nice. Thank you, Mark. Thank you so much. So that is um, the original concept demo. Um, yeah. Patrick Kelly says, would love for Mr. Scramble to make snarky or complimentary. Uh, let me tell you, he um, makes... Can't a, spell quips. He makes a lot of quips. He's... Oh, excuse me. Um, he's very quippy. Uh, I, I don't want to get into it too much because, you know, again, it's not about scramble today. Um, yeah. But I, I will say, tune in and Tuesday. Super Freak, that is a very creepy dream. Uh, I, I don't know if I want to know. Uh, oh. Super Freak says, I had a I'm, dream I'm reading it right now. I know, yeah. Whoa, that's weird. Yeah, that's really creepy. That's, that's insane. Wow. Don't eat at night, kids. Don't eat at night, no. okay? It'll give you bad dreams. Lexi says, I went ahead and calibrated my speakers. Well, I mean, it's, you know. Uh, I like the sounds of tracks from that demo. Yeah, the tracks were cool. Again, they weren't my music to use. Um, it was just something for a concept demo. Um, I just used them because they were there and I needed something as filler. But really, yeah. the idea was that was we were going to have people make music. And they did. And the results were amazing. Um, I, better than I... Uh, ever expected it to be i don't think i ever expected quite what we got when when the music people kind of came in and, and threw in what they threw in yeah it, it really brought things together and it was it cool because really it was it was kevin it was damon and uh clarence i think i think that was it there's just those three and it was kind of cool because like they'd be like i want this level and so like they would just start doing like stuff they'd be like i think this fits for this level and we just throw it in and it, it usually worked um i don't think there was anything that was not used no no I mean, and the music fit a lot of the levels and the battles yeah perfectly yeah i mean it just i i think everything that was made was used um and it just it was cool and it was it was kind of neat because it was just like we all kind of hang out and talk and i would be like yeah guys i just made this level it's a forest level and damon would be like oh i think I, I can do something for that and he'd like sit down and just do something and i'd be like oh that's cool and it would go in yeah the music was great still one of the cool streams i have at least uh not on sleep meds oh my god I saw yes. dude that. sleep meds give me the weirdest dreams i'm glad i don't take them anymore um so uh, Lexi wants to know who is so that's Kevin Reeves uh Lexi yeah. he is he's a very talented artist he's a he's a singer he is he plays keyboards um and he has released a couple of albums uh over um his lifetime yeah and, and he's him and me have always talked about like if I ever did another game he's always wanted to do like a full-on soundtrack for it I know Damon does too so yeah those two can fight to the death and whoever is standing can do the music I guess Actually, that'd be a cool fight. Um, yeah, they're they're all robot dogs. Super freak. They're all robot dogs. Um, so how about let's see? Are we? I'm trying to think. Is there anything that was? I guess we could take the um. I think we about covered a lot of this for now. It's probably time to just start playing uh, 
level one of the original game. I mean, it is a uh, two o'clock Eastern time almost. Are the dog barks in the ambience of the streets also robot dogs? If not, how yeah, do that, that's why I said they're feel? all dogs. They're just I, all robot dogs. I don't know. Actually, I I never stopped to ask the dogs. I assume they're probably just like it's X One's world. Of course, they're all robot dogs. Everything in X One's world is robots. Even the rats in the drain are robots. They're just waterproof. Um, I, I still, I gotta find. I still have one of Kevin's outtakes. Did you make the duck sound while you were on the on the toilet, Lee? The duck sound. What? Duck it's duck? okay. You can tell us. Super freak asks what, wants to know what duck sound. I don't know. Um, Lexi wants to know what kind of voice filter you put on your voice for X One and Doctor Cork. Oh God, I probably if it was those days, it was just like a basic pitch filter. Yeah. Hey, uh, Ethereum, I have this. Volcano escape. Escape. <laughs> escape. Volcano escape. <laughs> oh my God. I just found the raw bounce I tracks. I can't believe he said escape. I can't. Oh, the lava either. levels for the fireballs. That's actually a really interesting story. How he got those sounds. Oh, the fireballs. And I'm going to look forward to. Yeah, yes. don't, don't say it now. Okay, yeah, Wait until no, no, no. we get there. That's a, so that's what I'm a nice do, teaser. Here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to start playing the game. Each level, I'm going to talk about the level, talk about sort of my my idea for the level, why I did what I did, uh, and we're going to go from there. Does that sound good? Because yeah, this is going to take th this, a couple this hours. This is something that he has to tell as it's about to happen. It was genius how he actually created the fireball sound. I, it's probably the sound I'm most proud of. I really am proud of It was a of this. good sound. It was a really good sound. Because I ha I didn't have a fireball. And, no, you and back didn't. in those days, you didn't really have access to like. Hold on, Liam. Of... I, I think we're getting ahead of ourselves. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just saying really quick. I'm just like, I'm okay. just saying like, you didn't have access to hundreds of thousands of sounds like you do now. So like, yes, I, I cannot wait to talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. Okay, so should we start this? Let's do it. Are you guys ready? We're going to actually start the game. I know that's what you're you're all here for. And yeah, super freak uh, or super freak, stay tuned. You're 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 not far off from your guess. Um Lexi wants us to try to warn her before you pause. We'll do our best, Lexi, but no guarantees, especially since the stream has a slight delay. Oh, the duck sound, like the hump sound. No, it was just me sitting in front of a microphone oh. going, hump. Yeah. L works. L works presents Super Liam. <laughs> Please choose an option from the following menu. I love how Start even game. in the intro, I'm still getting injured. Load he still game. gets injured. Calibrate speakers. Left speaker. Right speaker. Okay. Hope your speakers are correct. Um, also, I'm going to eventually, I, I'll occasionally pop away so I can also look at messages. So that's why you'll hear sound stop. Right. The evil chocolate cookie says that she is super excited for this. Super Freak says, okay, Commander Uther, thanks. So here's here's where we're gonna have to cringe. We're gonna we're even gonna do cutscenes. I'm not oh, looking yeah. forward to this. Oof. But Uh, was the intro clip cobbled together? Uh, no. So I actually played through different levels and then recorded the segments and then stuck them together. Mm -hmm. But no, I think that's what you mean. Was it played live? Yeah, yeah. Actually, that was like I took some recordings of levels and then cut parts out and then yeah. So it's it wasn't that wasn't cobbled together. That was actual gameplay. Um, Super Freak the, says that the days uh, the Elbrook's logo. Reminds them of uh, good old summer days because that's when they used to play that uh, game as a, as a kid. 
I hate Dr. Cork. Uh, Patrick Kelly wants to know who did the logo music. Um, I did actually. Now, yeah, I mean, I now think there's Ruben much has better. Always done his own logo music. Now there's, but I mean, now there's much better logos. Like Andre's done one, and um, I, I think, um, Egg, Super Egg Hunt's Super Freaks says Doctor Cork, who sounds like he's about four hundred pounds. I hate Doctor Cork. Hate him. Hate him. Hate him. All right. Eggs Calip Low Start Game. Oh, jeez. Um, so I didn't read the manual to you guys. Don't think you need me to read me read you the manual. Anyways, the story no. is this person magically gets superpowers um it's not a well thought out story let's let's just let's just stop for a moment and talk about the story the story sucks okay um i didn't think about stories when i was making the game um i just thought about making a game (laughs) the story was secondary basically i think sometimes the story was tertiary (laughs) to be honest with you um it's not a good story it is not at all riveting it's awful but the idea was you had to have something to glue the levels together because it made no sense if you were just going from level to level and there was no story behind it. Um, I think now I could write a somewhat more compelling narrative. Um, well, know? I mean, you had some great ideas for the sequel and we can was, go into more of that. I was like just going to say something end. that it was going to be me. I don't want to say it um, because I like Aaron a lot. I was going to say at least it's not Manamon's story, but that's that's not really fair. Because he tried, so I, I, I give him credit. But those those that know me know that I don't care for the narrative of Manamon or Manamon 2 very much. Mm-hmm. I think, actually, it's pretty obvious if you've watched my streams. I, I don't like it, but I give him credit for trying because I didn't try very hard. Connor says it was really good for the eight-year-old me. Uh, if there's a doctor named Cork... No, it's not Cork. It's Q U A R K, K I believe. Like Cork, like Cork and anti Cork, not Cork. Who made the current Elric's logo? I think Andre did the current one. Liam, Liam, I need help getting the remote. I can't get up from my chair. Uh, the theory, did we lose you? Still here. Oh, okay. Hey, give yourself some credit. Was this your first really big project? Yeah, it was. I mean, it just low start game. didn't age well. All right, here we go. You ready, Ethereum? Hit it. Oh, oh my head. I've got to be dreaming. Even I'm not to really this. a superhero. I mean, it's just not possible. <laughs> my acting is so like horrible. The movies and TV. It is pretty awful. That's, that's not real, is it? No, no. It's not a dream. No, no. Liam, it's me, Dr. Cork. How are you doing? Well, I'm alive, but my head really hurts. Well, you'll have to put the pain aside. This is really important. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I can gather from your GPS system is you're on the beach of some kind. Wow, we I'm had GPS really in 2004? Sure what's out there. I, I, I found guess some life so. Forms. You better be careful, though. I'll do my best, Dr. Cork. Well, good luck. Okay. Sandy Surf, so, Act 1. Did he say I sent some life tor- form? Yeah. I sense, so apparently his GPS could sense objects and stuff. I, I, again, I didn't. All right, Dr. Cork. I didn't plan this very well. Okay. Listen, I didn't think it through. I, I just, we know. Okay. I've, I always found the acting charmingly bad and it is, it is. And the problem, Hey Siri, turn on, do not disturb, please. Um. Good. You don't need to repeat that. Oh, that's a beta four issue that I hate. <laughs> um. So the one of the problems that I had when I was eighteen was that I thought I was a really good voice actor, and I wasn't. And what I've learned, and I, I think that it in life it's something that we we learn as we go once we learn that we're not good at something and then we want to get better at it then we start to improve um but i didn't know how to talk if that makes sense like i knew how to speak but i didn't know how to enunciate correctly and i didn't know how to like carry emotion and act 
And I, I, I never realized, I guess, how bad my acting was until I go back and listen to this stuff. Because I'm like, if I were playing it now, I feel like I would play it much better. Because it wouldn't be so overblown. But again, changes with the times. Because yeah. when we were younger, we thought all of this was awesome. Yeah, I mean, and that's true, though. Because at the time, it was like no one had ever done this. This was, this was kind of cool. This is probably the feeling that Aaron has whenever he touches adventure at sea colon backslash in fact i i know it is because we've talked about it and he he cringes every time uh the Siri, the super liam rem- remake will have liam saying siri please do not turn on please turn on do not disturb <laughs> whenever his communicator rings this is similar to me in sound design yeah same same here like it's sorry just, dr quark has blocked this feature yeah I'm sorry, Liam. I can't do that. Um, Somebody wants you to play the Max Payne mod. Yeah, I'm not doing any mods. Um, Nope. (laughs) Uh, Oh, my head was the theme of my Saturday hangover, says James. I saw that. Garrett says, plot twist. Liam invented the GPS. Yeah, I did. Or he Maybe. turned the the coin uh coined the word GPS. No, I mean I remember GPSs in the late nineties because we were yeah, discussing Yeah, GPSs were around. Well, we were discussing the idea of using them as remote um assistant like navigational tools back in the late nineties. So yeah. I mean there there was some talk of them being done for that, but yeah I mean I, don't forget guys, back in 04, we did have OnStar and it would give you turn. Oh my god, directions. I remember OnStar. Yes. Hey, how about I know somebody who still uses OnStar to this day? Is that still a thing? Yes. Wow. So, uh, Sandy Surf. And I've seen somebody use it within the last year. Sandy Surf. Um, This was the first level. Very similar to the level in the demo. Um, Really, the only change was that I believe, well, we we got rid of the, the water, which is really unfortunate. And That's the biggest change. I think we yeah. have a couple instances where things will pop out behind you. Um, I tried not to introduce it. Not until it. later. Oh, it not doesn't until happen later? at all on Sandy Surf. Oh, yeah. okay. So I was actually really nice to you. Okay. Yeah, you were really nice on Sandy Surf. You were really, really, really forgiving. I really was. All right, so let's play Act 1. And I'm going to turn the music down just a little bit. You've heard it earlier. So, yeah, the sound, the sand does sound more like gravel. Yep. And the laser's different. Yeah, the laser's different. Oh, I can use my right control key. Hey, that's handy. Yeah, thank you, Patrick Kelly. Yeah, thank you. Oh, right. I have to press the arrow key to jump, and I, I can't just hold it like a normal game. I forgot. <laughs> Also, another the thing. Amber says, "Yeah, uh, the GPS just telling him that you're on a beach, just like uh, the uh, normal GPS telling you that you're on the road. Also hot." Superface says, "Like I said, it's one of those crappy New Jersey beach." Also, you notice that like things seem more spread out too. There's a lot more. Yes, way more spread out. Yeah. Uh, also, health is given in percentages. 90%. And there's a lot more health items. Health boost. Yep, and they tell you what they are. Oh, look, there's your teleporter. In Kevin Reeves' voice. And yeah, the teleporters. See, same sound, but no different music. Wood sound. Time bonus. 213 points. Your score for this level was 790. So you don't actually points. necessarily have Your to just tap the arrows uh, with Super Liam. You can run using the spacebar. No, no, but I was talking Sandy about um, jumping. Because it's slow. It's faster oh, yeah. to jump. Yeah, with jumping, yeah. Hey, I haven't gotten hit by a coconut yet. I feel like they're slowed down from the concept. I, I demo. think so too. Ow, ow. ow. Uh, see, you say that, and there you go. You deserve that. Hi, 
Yeah. Also, I don't like that I can. Whoa. I don't like that I can jump, but then I. Oh yeah, now I start running. The evil chocolate cookie says you're not supposed to get injured. LOL. I need to figure that. Yeah. Blind Ninja Ow. says I knew that was gonna happen. I'm jumping like I would in Mario. But yeah, we could do some really cool stuff now, I think. Oh, yeah. Like, like, obviously, one thing that this game has nothing of is platforming. Because at the time, I didn't even want to try to introduce that. I'm like, uh, Garrett, I do believe that Liam is going to show off the Easter eggs that are in uh, the second act. Um, no, World actually, I'm boost. not. I'm going to try to play really? him through normally. Yeah, because it's going to make it harder for me. And, you know, that's what you, you guys... You know what you should do? Yeah. Ow! You should play it until You, you know end. what you should do is not distract me while there's a coconut? Oh, yeah, I mean, you deserved it. What you should do is you should play until the end. Uh -huh. And then you should die, and then show them the Easter egg. You should die. Because the Easter egg will give you an, uh, a few extra God. lives. Ethereum, shut up. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> he deserves it. I'm, I don't regret it, guys. Extra life. Why is that right under the coconut? No, we're we're going to figure out how many times I can do that today and get him killed by fireballs and uh, a whole bunch of other things. Oh, he heard it this time. Health boost. So, yeah, there, there are um, so two bonus levels. All right, so hold on. Let's also, yes, I love that bug. The sounds don't stop, but I'm going to pause and... Uh, really quick. So we're going to come up to the first uh, first boss and uh, our first run in with X1. And uh, yeah, X1, my acting was pretty horrendous for this too, but I actually kind of mm -hmm. like X1. I, I, I will say is my favorite character in this game because, I mean, there's like three characters. What do you want? I mean, well, um, maybe two and a half because I don't count Dr. Quark as a full character because after a point, he yeah. just disappears. He does. Uh, Trenton says the first scene in the later version of the concept demo had more emotion in it than the final version in his. Yeah, game. I think so. I, I I don't know if part of that was I was like maybe I was burnt out or something or so. But yeah, I I don't know. Um, and Shane Davidson said injured by your own in your own game. I'm so amused by that. Listen, I'm going to die many times in my own game. Oh, yeah, he is. Um, No, Connor, he didn't replace the steps. They were pretty much always the same. Yeah, I, well, I, I may have actually. And so I think. Oh, Dance Blind Gamer donated 40 Danish Krona oh, thank through you. Super Chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, SLJ. Yes, Rich, it does have a little bit of platforming in the X1 battle. I can't wait to talk about that later on. Oh, I, I know. All right, so here we go. You ready? Mm -hmm. My What's gamer up? wants me to go to the corner for distracting you. You should. Time bonus. One hundred. What's going on in playroom? Anything? Points. Your score for this level was um, one I've been kind of going in and looking at a lot of, this, a lot of people greeting Your total other. score is one thousand nine hundred eighty-three points. While talking? <laughs> Your mother, please. Ah, my communicator. Well, hello Garrett there, says that Heath William. considers the actual to act to be the Easter egg. Oh, okay. Well, a lot of other things to do than deal with you. <laughs> well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the beach since you're about to get crushed by Airbot. Well, it was nice knowing you. <laughs> yeah, there was more back and forth. I Sandy Surf, um, Airbot battle. Yeah. All right. So, yes, this this uh, battle, uh, this guy's really simple. He goes towards you. You shoot him. Uh, I always wondered, I forgot that when he gets too close to you, he shoots you, so you want to hit him. Mm -hmm. um, 
he'll actually freeze the game momentarily because I was lazy. Um, I I don't know if you knew this, but I yeah, you're only supposed to get one hit on him no, at a time no, no, when no, he but, lands. But I actually freeze the game for a split second. Like, instead of letting you freely really? move. Yeah, the game actually freezes. Hold on up. Oh, wow. So, I was holding down the right arrow. All right. See when you hear me start running? Yep. I'm actually freezing the game. It was bad coding. Mitchell says that that old teleporter sounds like this old, uh, the seeing AI sound. Yeah, and hey, none of those uh, sounds uh, were different. So I kept a lot of the same stuff. Nope. Time bonus, 270 points. Your score for this level was 1,020 oh, points. Blind Gamer like Psychopath Your total the score is, is 3,007 points. Hey, hey, that wasn't so bad at all. Well, well, you this beat everybody. Oh, you know yeah, I got a big head. See if I care. Just remember, Liam, it gets harder. <laughs> I bet it yeah, does, X1. Yeah, sure. Wait, yeah, hold on. Yeah, that was inappropriate. Also, I like that that was instead Whoa. of the t the portal Talk thing. About a warp or a mm -hmm. jump or sun. Wow, where where am I? Oreo Gomez sent us donated five euros well, to well, the super well, chat. I love this game is. since I was a child. <laughs> One superhero Thanks. you are, can't you even tell where you're out. going. Hey BTW. man, shut up! Yeah, you shut up too, you dummy. Well, <laughs> sorry, you're on the super I actually think street, that's kind of funny. This is one of my favorite places in the world <laughs> to watch you get fried. <laughs> that's so By dumb. The way, watch your step. <laughs> watch your step. Yeah, because Suburban Streets. Act so welcome one. to Suburban Streets. And right away you hear a, a sound that should have been in the concept demo. Yes. So this is Suburban Streets. Also, if you haven't noticed, yes, every level is alliterative. <laughs> so Super Freak says, hey, hey, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Liam, after his annual prostate checkup. Yeah, I mean, we're getting to that point, aren't we? I mean, I'm. Four years away Lexi from that. Lexi died in Act 1, Level 1. Sorry to hear, Lexi. I'm sorry, but hashtag no context. Refrigerator I'll bot is coming answer. up. Some, um, um, let's see. <laughs> the timing says, of that super, that super chat, chat was, was perfect. perfect. Yeah. And then it was like, hey, shut up. <laughs> oh, man. I can just hear X1 reenacting the Bowser lines from Delario. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she makes lots of spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. Uh, I remember playing Super Liam for so long that I kept hearing the sewer drip for like four hours the afterwards. Sewer sound afterwards. All right, so here we go. Oh, he's got to be right there, doesn't he? <laughs> Jerk. Yeah. By the way, I totally made it that way, too, on purpose. Oh! Uh, I forgot. You got to jump over those. You're distracting yourself. Now, I don't need to do nothing. What's my health? 67%. Oh, Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Also, that's a horrible motorcycle sound. Sounds like a moped. It really does. They hurt, though, let me tell you. Oh! Woo. Sounds like it's dying, too. So some people actually were doing no damage runs of this game, which I find really fascinating. I've done it before. I've done. Never mind. Health boost. Whee! Uh, yeah, 
this is a pretty straightforward level. I mean, what do you really say about it? It's a street. Yeah, a lot of them are. Get to the teleport. Just once, I would like to be able to shoot one of the cyclists. Just one of them. I know, right? Yes, I agree, Super Free. I think that's what I tried Time to do. Goes. Evil Chocolate Two Cookie says, um, there was a dangerous one thing points. there. I'm Your score for this level was 833 well, points. I mean, at least I Your total died yet. score is 3,840 right? yeah. points. So, Suburban so far, Street so Garrett says that motorcycle two. sounds like a chainsaw. So yes, originally, this is where the bonus level would be, but we're not going to do the bonus levels. I mean... At least not this bonus level. Waterworks? I'm thinking about. Waterworks is hard. Yeah, especially the fans. I don't know how that's going to be with your current uh, situation. So this is where you would... Right in the middle of that one, you jump, go land in the center. But not today. Yeah, I think it's like... Uh, should I say the number of jumps? Or the number of Three. arrow taps? Three. Yeah, it's three. Yes. I just like how this game kind of opens up. level. Oh. I like how this game kind of opens up. It's like, oh, look, now you have to jump things and jump over holes in the ground. Ugh. Also, I love that they can hover over pits. Like, there's no logic. Yeah, how did you not fix it so that they would die in a pit? I don't know. Just didn't think about it. They do in Super Liam too. Midnight says, I always wondered where the motorcyclists were going. I wanted to go to their lair. Um, oh, Pittman doesn't want you to skip Water Axe 2. They think it's going to be priceless. <clears throat> yeah, that's fair. I do have to show. Um, can't you use cheats to use uh, to go to certain stages afterward? Yeah, yeah, uh, I could. Right, super freak. Yes, you actually can. Sure. They have. A, there's a lot. A few cheats. There's some bugs with the cheats too, actually. That I didn't yeah. even realize. Health boost. I'm doing okay. Yeah, for once. Don't worry, it'll start going downhill in the jungle. Yeah, as it does. Ugh. Ow! Stupid. Oh, interesting thing about the uh, enemies, which I forgot. When they hit you, they bounce back! Cycle! Um, when they hit you, they actually bounce back. Now, what they could have done, which would have been fun, is they could have knocked you back? Can you imagine how bad that would yeah, be? Yeah, and if you were by pits, oh boy. <laughs> that would be funny. Garrett says he always jumps even though he doesn't need to just to get through the levels faster. Whoa. Not a bad idea, Garrett. And you get a higher time bonus. There's your first uh, one right there. Okay, so I forgot to pause. A cycle bot. Uh, it's a giant cycle. You shoot him when he comes towards you, jump over him. Um, yeah. Time bonus. That's why he's one cycle hundred. Bot. This is a lot of people's points. favorite, I guess. Your score for this level was 903 yeah. points. Your total score is. Four thousand seven hundred forty-three oh, yeah. points. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, it's my communicator again. Bailey uh, says I have no idea who this could be. Well, well, well. It's nice to see you've made it this far. It's getting tougher though. Look off to your right. Yes, over there, and you'll see Psychobot. Yes, he's ready to mow you down. So <laughs> nice knowing you, Super Liam. What a dumb name. I agree. Suburban streets. I agree with this sentiment. Yeah, so do I. Bailey says that you should add in uh, robo cats so that they can take out their frustration on cats. I wholeheartedly second this. 
And uh, Super, Super Freak, Freak says, says this bot terrified, terrified them yeah. as nightmares. Yeah, I had nightmares. Oh, yes, it would have. Enemies knocking you back would have been sanity. Yeah. And that would have been yes, really cool. it would have. But, oh, would it be great? Ooh. Yeah, the motorcycles can even drive over the holes. Yes, they can. Mm-hmm. That would be yeah, pretty it's funny Harry though. Potter. All right, here we go. That sounds more like a legit bike. So, ow. what you want to kind of do is be in the center. Um, which also um, coming up is the uh, usual plug for whatever Jay's working on. Who could forget this cutscene? Time bonus: yeah. two hundred sixty-one points. Your score for this level was nine hundred fifteen points. That was slow. Your total I've score seen that is five thousand six hundred fifty-eight points. Superfect says, "I love the f- uh, filter on his voice." By oh the way. yeah, I win. <laughs> that was nothing. Oh, oh yeah, I win. Hey, a letter. I didn't see this before. Dear Liam, you are a loser. And my minions will crush you. Just wait and see. Signed, X1. P.S. Visit... St- huh? Visit streammadness.com? What? What is that? Oh, well, I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, geez, here we go! <laughs> whoa, where is this? It's really spooky. Whoa, 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 what was that? Oh, man, I really don't want to be here. Liam, 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 it's me, Dr. Cork. I picked you up on the GPS system, and uh, I see you're in a forest, and there's stuff. There. I don't know what that is. <laughs> stuff. Uh, but uh, stuff. go explore stuff. and uh, be careful and find X1. You have to kill him. I love that. Wild That's, Wood, that was so, Act 1. Uh, that is so Commander Crappish. You have to kill him because <laughs> that's what you have to do in this game. Oh my god, he's such an Acer awful... Acer says, my friend actually went to that website many years after playing this game. Yeah, I mean, it was a, work- <laughs> it was a working website. Um, it was. Yeah, it was a working website for a good long yeah, while. Yeah, Stream Madness was a stream. They were, it was like a hosting for like Icecast servers. and Well, back, back then it was Shellcast. Yeah. Um, But yeah, G- Jay ran it. And so that's why like there's an AT guys thing. So usually in every game I've given Jay... I don't think he had one in Judgment Day. Um, But usually no, there will be like a plug for something that he's working on. Stuff and things. Stuff and things. Also, um, I become kind of a big I Silver Sun. Another bag of jumbo sour cream and onion lays. I become kind Liam, of a Liam, big Liam, fan. Become kind of a big fan of Silver Sun pickups. So every time X One goes, it's nice to see or it's nice to know you've gotten this far. I keep thinking it's nice to know you work alone, and that song pops into my head. Maybe someone's gonna get that reference, but I don't know. <laughs> but I do love the stream madness thing. I just love how it's tossed in there. It's like stream mat. What? That might be my my. Mid-air says, "Might be the best uh, acting in this entire game." <laughs> Honestly, Mid-air says, "Imagine Apple Maps saying turn right two p two feet past forest." Yeah, right. Yeah, but yeah, Doctor Quirk is useless, and I love it. He's just he really is pretty useless. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, uh, Gabe Buckleyano says, uh, thanks for reinforcing how old you are. When I do that, I don't know what you're referring to, but so I guess, I guess Quentin sees was, was busy. I don't know. There, so also too, there is a, um, room on uh, playroom. Where people are watching this. Oh as man, well. it's been hard keeping up on YouTube. Sometimes I, I yeah. totally forget about Quentin. I just looked at it really quick. I we're not really actively reading it too much, but it is there if you guys want to use it. Uh, 
That's why we got it. Bailey brings up an interesting point from the readme. Yep. And the readme says he can fly, but it's never showed that power in game. Yes. And, and you right. know what? We are going to talk about that in a couple more levels, Ethier. Because mm-hmm. that is a thing that did not happen. And I yep. believe that should have happened in two levels after Silver Spaceship. Yeah. That was the plan. So, yeah, when we get to Silver Spaceship, let's talk about that. Because that's... Mm-hmm. There's definitely some stuff that's not in here that should be. Um, yes, I hear the bear. Um, including, um, like, I, there was a couple more themed levels that were missing. Um, but this is Wild Woods. And uh, yeah, it's woods and it's wild. Um, one of the things about this... this is where, says... Yeah, no, sorry. Go ahead. The neighbor says he loves these cutscenes. They say nothing. They say a lot without saying anything at all. I just don't. um Shane says he hated the snakes when he played this level. I just don't think they say anything personally. I I, I think they're useless. Um, yeah. So this has bears and snakes, and the bears are like two yeah. Shows. Those bears don't sound like bears. They sound like leopards. I know they're pretty awful. Um, so we have bears. We have snakes. Snakes. If you step on them, twenty five percent health lost. Boom. Um, originally I was going to code poison, but I was like, why don't I just do a 25% drop? Mm -hmm. Also, if you step on the snake, it kills the snake, which is cool. It does. Yeah. Um, so here we go. Oh yeah. This level has a lot of, um, now I think about too, there's a lot of ambush points too. Oh yes, there are. This is where the switches start. Yep. Jumping in this game is frustrating. Yes, yes it is. Yes, it is. Wait, are they one shot? Yeah. Wow. All right, I'm going to have a really bad time with these snakes. I don't even... Uh, is there a snake? Yeah, there it is. It's coming up. It's after this bear. Right there, you're almost done. Of course, it's got to be in the frequency range. I can't hear very well. There's another one coming up. For a jump. 37 percent. Yep. Jump. Health boost. Oh. First ever trigger. No, not the first ever. There was there's Mark a says as soon as you shoot it, it sounds like it falls right to the ground. Basically that's what happens. Yeah, Mark. it does. You got a snake coming up. Sam. There we go. Warner Cat says they like Super Liam. They were playing it when they were 12. Right, these snakes aren't so bad. Really? I don't trust that. No, that's it. It wow. doesn't have the ambush until Act 2. Whew. Okay, I was expecting much worse. Super Freak says, LOL, I love that. If your lag is at the exact amount of time, time to not bonus. help. 185 points. Your score for this level was 1,334 yes, points. Your total score is... Midnight says Sack Active. After all these years, I can't even make it all. That points. sucks. Yeah. Wild Woods, Act 2. Right. Snake right away. Bear snake. Oh. 
Not that I, I... I'm glad I didn't code this, but I should have made the snake do extra damage if you were jumping and landed straight on it. You should have. Snake. You also should have made the snakes move. No. That would have been awful. Snake. These aren't the crazy part. You could snakes. probably be a step or two closer for the jump. Yeah, probably. That was good. Listen, I'm giving these snakes a wide berth. I mean, I guess what I could have done with the snakes is I could have had them move like they could have gone back and forth in, like, short patterns. That actually would have been cool. I love that snake sound. So satisfying, even though they hurt. You got one more behind you. Yeah. He'll get there. <laughs> you know what kind of run I'd love to see? I want to see a few enemies, like a pacifist run, where your goal is to kill as few enemies as possible. Ooh. Obviously... I wish the snakes were two or three tiles rather than just one. It's really hard to hit them. Health boost. Obviously, you could, you'd have to kill bosses, but... Oh, jeez. You're fine. I think that'd be cool, though. I don't like this bunch of empty space. I don't like it. Oh god, this is gonna don't extra life. Oh, okay. <laughs> Neighbor says that's the thing about these old games, they show us how much we've aged. Dude, I don't I don't like People all this like empty space. Back classic portrayed that. I know, I know I designed this to, like, lull you. And I, yeah. Oh, so and I remember you talking about this when we were making it, or when you were, uh, like, talking about it and yep. making it. <clears throat> and All then right. you were like, yeah, I'm going to do this and this and this. Wildbot Battle. Um, this is actually my favorite robot. Besides, um... X1. Really? Yes. I love this one because I like how it's a multi-step process. It's going to go back and forth. You got to stay down until it comes at you and then you hit it. But I like that it has a pattern to it and you've got to like learn. Uh, one, obviously, it's not a hard pattern. Once you learn the pattern, it's easy. But I like that it's a multi-step pattern. I don't know. I liked, um, I think out of the bosses, believe it or not, I think I liked Cyclebot and Laserbot's another one that I like. The... the Laser bot um, is another, and actually, I'll have to talk water about water escape. I I don't know if I ever even told you the idea behind laser bot, and actually, even X one. Um, so, hmm. but they're actually they're based on yeah, another. I liked I liked the strategy behind laser bot. They're based on another game, actually. Interesting. Yeah. Oh god, <laughs> is this the is this your refrigerator running one? I think it is. Oh God! Hello. <laughs> Is your refrigerator? I think it's after this. No, I think Time it's this bonus. one. One hundred. Because he's nine like points. Your score for this level was like, one thousand yeah, nine hundred forty-eight points. But it's great. Your total score is my multiple eight, life. Yes, you can still get this nine, game. It's on a banned wear page points. of Liam's site. <laughs> Hello. Is your refrigerator running? No, actually, I don't have a fridge. I'm in the middle of a forest right now. Well, you should run, because look who's coming. It's Wildbot. <laughs> did, did, did you like that call? Is that funny? No, you could have done better, actually. No, it sucked. I'm sorry. I'll, <laughs> I'll try better next time. No, no I won't, because you'll be dead. <laughs> Wild <laughs> Woods. <Sorry>. Wildbot <laughs> battle. That was, that was kind of... So... Oh, that, and that's why you got to duck. He's swinging overhead. Mm -hmm. And this is actually the first use of the duck, actually. If you stop to think about it. All right. Now he's going to. 
Ah. Oh, jeez. Wild. He woods. was on the left. Wild butt. I know. I, I I was too close. Like I was too far. I thought I. So, um, that's death number one. That was just a bad death. Got him. So each time he goes a little bit faster. But yeah, this is not a hard fight. You can only hit him once. So. But you always know he's going to go from alternating sides. You should turn... Super Liam into a 60s style cartoon like Batman. Just make it five minutes long. Oh, God. With the music and everything. Yeah, like I said, this is not a hard fight. Um, yeah, Bailey was actually just saying, I love how the uh, region says this is one of the hardest fights in the game. And all you do for the most This part was is hard for testers, down. man. This confused people. They didn't understand the ducking thing. But again, it eventually this, it got really easy to just kind of keep it held down and shoot. This was 2004. Like you literally were invulnerable this fight. Yeah. This was 04. A lot like this was. Obviously, now this is really easy. But like this was new for a lot of people. No one had ever, you know. I was introducing a lot of concepts. Yeah, super that, freck. I used to like being able to try to shoot it more than one time, too. Um, I didn't like that you could only shoot it once. Yeah. I think this is where he did another time run of bonus. temporary freeze. One hundred ninety nine. No, it wasn't temporary. Point. So Your score actually, for this level was the freeze I was nine talking about hundred seven. Actually, nine freezes points. the uh, Your total game score is nine uh, thousand yeah. nine hundred nineteen points. Okay. Whew. Do you think Xbox kind of wanted to be friends with Super? That was Leo? close. I don't know. You've gotten killed. Possibly. Well, 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 you're still alive, I see. How unfortunate for you. <laughs> yes, yes, Super Liam, you're probably wondering, why am I here? Well, I came to laugh at you. <laughs> well, that's not a very good laugh, now, is it? I'll have to try harder next time. Well, speaking of, stay alert. Is the best way I can put it because here it sounds like you're struggling well, to find are something about to, to say. Start eating up. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Wow. Okay. There's two things I hate, and one of them is fire. And yes, and I don't know I what the other fire. thing is. Damn it! Everyone asks okay. me what are the yeah, two. Yeah, we never found out what the other okay. thing was that he hates. You want me to go through that to kill a stupid robot? Uh, I I just. I'm speechless because there is no way that I'm going there. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Whoa, whoa, I'm going. Lava Lake. Fireballs. One. Pause. Yep. So, Lava Lake. So, Super Freak, you were right when you said it sounded like the pilot light of a stove. Or you were pretty much right. Yeah, that's right. Because it is, it is the burner on a stove, um, compressed. Yeah, he literally recorded it. I remember when he first showed it to me. Um, we were on Ventrilo, and he's like, "Yo, I found the perfect fireball sound." And then he showed it to me, and then I was like, "Wow!" And then he was like, "Yeah, I made it." And I was like, "What did you use?" And he told me, "He's like, I, I basically turned on the burner of the stove to high and put the microphone really close to it. Then I ran it through a compressor. Then he ran it through a compressor. Well, 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 you're clipping X one. Was that my <laughs> Skype in the background? Yeah, um, but that yes, it was. Uh." This lava level, I could not deal with it for the longest time because of the fire death sound. Well, hopefully we don't have... Um, Steven Crouch is not a fan of the Lava Lake Act 2. Oh, 2 is interesting with the giant dogs you can't kill that I don't know why I put them in the game. Yeah, why did you ever put... We never saw those dogs again. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, we didn't we? Yeah, we did. 
Didn't they chase us in uh, the waterworks escape? No. No, it's At just in Act 2. It's oh, just okay. there. I, it's, I, I don't know why I put them there. I think okay. because I wanted to annoy people. I'm like, haha, you got to all the way to the end of this difficult level, and now yeah. you just died. Patrick says it seems to, like it was hard to laugh as X1. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I just died. So this is where it gets annoying. <laughs> fireball. Oh, especially when the fireballs start coming in groups that can insta-kill you. Yes. <laughs> he made the fire pits lo louder. They didn't used to be this loud. <laughs> now those I think will take off 25% health. <laughs> oh, jeez. And yes, there was another Skype sound there. Yeah, Sam's asking me something. Oh, okay. We're trying to fix broken things. And I, I apologize that I'm not ready to talk about it yet. Two. two. Oh! I almost... That was close. Went in the drink. That was super close. Now, that was yes, the fun thing did. about these fireballs, is I purposely designed it to do that, where, like, you'd be on the edge. Now, did I code the fireballs to... I can't remember. Do they knock you out of the air? No, uh, yeah. Yes, they do. You can't jump over them. No, no, no. I mean, if I'm... If the fireball hits me... I think it takes me out of the air. Does it? Because I... I can't remember because I purposely designed it so that you try to jump a pit, a fireball would come and then hit you, and I think I purposely made it so you would drop wherever you were. Yeah. And maybe I took so that out because... Gamer. I thought it was too hard. Fireball. Ah! No! Death number two. Ooh, fire Lava pit. Lake. Act so Blind Life one. Gamer, really quick, um, the fireball sounds and the um, the fire pit sounds, the fireball sound was always there. That was the original fireball sound, but the pit sound actually came much later. So that's probably why you can now consider those sounds potentially interchangeable. Hold on, quick second. Warner Cats is about excited about the blue, I mean, silver spaceship. Yeah. Uh, James says, I did say it earlier, but I can't understate how much this level screwed with my hearing loss as a kid. Oh, Pittman said, roasted Liam. Mark Miller says, at least your voice was not compressed. Um, Liam, explain how the time bonuses worked again. Mark um, Miller seems to I believe to want anything to under five minutes. Or Mason bonus is calculated out of that so every second takes um three minutes so you start with three minutes yeah it's three minutes right because it's 180 yeah so um every second you take takes away a second from that um whatever time you have left gets added to the score so if you take more than three minutes for a uh, level um no bonus Zompocalypse, I the think, Godfather, did, this, did the same thing as well. Yes, it did. Yeah. The the Godfather is maintaining a death counter. Well, I mean, that's been two. Um, Don't get too excited. Garrett says he doesn't think that it, it knocks you out of the air because he has jumped over pits oh, before. Oh, yeah. You know what? It probably doesn't. I was It was going to. Because that's what I wanted it to do. Because I purposely designed these so that if you were in the air and the fireball hit you and you were over a pit, it was just supposed to like insta death because you'd fall in. X one is a <laughs> X one is a X uh, or a disability icon or something like that. Confirmed. Says super. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Sorry about that. We're quick development thing. Yep. I'll talk about it soon, I promise. 
but I am working on something. I'm just going to say that. Fireball. Um, I'm just going to say I am working on stuff and leave it there, and then we'll, we'll talk about it later, because I'm still not He's ready. being an unlazy bum. <laughs> yeah, I am, I am doing stuff, though. Do not lie. Return to sender. It's for three minutes, not for five minutes. Yeah, three. I've been playing Trimps, and Trimps has a um, challenge that's five minutes, and I've been doing Decay a lot lately. I love how these robots are fireproof. I know, right? Oh, jeez. Oh. Connor says, and you're doing a co-op with Sam Toopy, or is that another Sam? Yeah. Yeah, I can... I, I, I can say that. I'm, I'm going to say that we're working on stuff, but I don't want to be specific because it's up to him to talk about it because it's right. sort of his thing. But yeah, stuff that he's doing is going to directly affect me. Uh, Lexi, I'll explain how to jump in suburban streets after Liam is done playing this act. Oh my god. Oh god. They won't come. I know, I'm hoping. There's no fireball. Oh, jump uh. this one. Oh my god. Oh, that was only Act One. Oh, I gotta do the stupid. The more I hear the ducking sound, the more it sounds like constipation right in Super Free. Yeah. Time well, I didn't bonus. have um... one hundred sixty-nine points. <laughs> Your score for this level was nine hundred seventy-nine points. Your total score is ten thousand eight hundred ninety-eight points. Lava Lake Act Two. All right, hold on. Okay, so Lexi, the concept behind jumping is you're supposed to press the up arrow to initiate the jump, and then you're supposed to spam press your right arrow key. So just press it as fast as you can. Um, you know, so you might have to press it, you know, like, you know, five times really fast or six times really fast, something like that, just so that you can make sure you get, you know, a, a good distance on your jump. Um, Connor wants to say, uh, says, you want to know what really sounds like constipation? What? Enemies of Blind Legend. <laughs> yeah. I really do. Um, Austin, when he was playing this, uh, before was using it with boot camp on a Mac, so he only had one control key. Well, don't forget, Austin, the, the laser, uh, the two control keys thing was only added fairly recently. No, it was in and, super uh, recently, but it was done after the initial launch. But I still, I mean, yeah, it was done after the initial launch. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, the the point is, like, you know, a lot of people use the single control key for a while. Yeah. when we initially played it. Yeah, I mean, no one had ever said to me, "Hey, can you do the right control?" I guess I should have just done it. I don't know why I never thought to do it, but like, I'm glad I did it now. Yes, yeah, so, sorry, we're we're doing we're doing stuff with the mouse. We're trying to get mouse movement working, and we're like. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh, I'm streaming. He's like, oh, I forgot. So I just, it's it's okay because we it's this, this this bug we've been trying to fix for like a little while. And I'm hoping he's going to announce stuff soon. And once he announces what he's doing, I can announce what I'm doing because they're both closely related, like mm -hmm. in their own special ways. Um, right. But. And I apologize for being KG, but again, not my not my project. Stay tuned, everyone. Yeah, stay tuned. Not like, hey, how come there's not a bonus level in this level? You don't need a bonus level for this. Ow. <gasps> yes, you do. Ow. You just don't know how to play. <gasps> Ow. Oh, those take multiple shots. That's a dog. <laughs> That's a fireball. Oh, no. 
flag. Ugh. Return to sender. You just got hit by a fireball when you jump. Fifty percent. Oh, item coming up. Health boost. Sixty percent. Yeah. That would have wrecked me. Double. Oh my god. I, this oh Now I remember why I don't like Act 2. This was really cruel. Look at that. They just randomly... Well, they don't randomly, but it's like... They come from so far away that you don't think they're going to be there. Yeah, they're coming. Like that one. Well, the thing that's interesting is some of them are purposely designed to switch on when um, you are at the edge of a pit. And he just got hit by one. Yep. His health is like 10% now. 40. Five percent. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's called I'm a jerk. That concept was ahead of its time. But yeah, I liked staggering him out that way, so you had to like You wanna send a fireball? You're thinking about it. But see, every time it makes you think, you're like, should I jump now? Also, I don't like the lack of enemies. Health boost. Okay. That's okay. This is where the dogs come in. We should name the dog Bruno so that people won't talk about him. It was like three. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Three of them. That's not even fair. Health boost. Oh my god. 65%. Okay, another thing the game does that I don't like, it freezes you while it's reading numbers. They start at different points on the map to answer your question, Bailey. Yeah. There they are. There are some that are triggered by stepping on certain things. Oh, there are the dogs. All right. So we're not going to wait for these dudes. Here we go. Volcano escape. And and no no blind gamer, this did not have any checkpoints. If you died, no, you, you went back. You again at the beginning of the act. Time bonus, 35 points. Your score for this level was 1,185 points. Your total score oh, is 12,083 points. Oh, jeez. I'm well, not well, ready for well, this. Really, I'm not had fun playing with you. It's been all fine and dandy, and I've given you the benefit of the doubt and everything, but... Now I've had enough, and now I think it's time to really end things. See that volcano up there? Yep. All I have to do is set up this bomb, and... Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Connor says, oh no, is it Super Lee that survived the wild? <laughs> he wasn't oh. kidding. Here comes that volcano. 
Oh man, I gotta get out of here. That might be my best Lava acting yet. Lake. Volcano escape. Now, if I remember correctly, it was better to jump a lot at yeah. this level. You're about to get caught up. Ah! Oh, right into Ooh. it. Right into right, it. Lava that's okay, Lake. Though. That's okay. Volcano escape. Volcano escape. That. One life. Oh no. Ooh. All right. Don't jump anymore. Fairly decent stretch here. Heal coming up. Don't jump. You got a decent stretch here. What would happen the last time you said that? Yay, you listened to me too late. Wow. Extra life. Need that. You needed that one. Oh, there's your teleporter. Free. <laughs> Oh my god. Onward to the blue spaceship! Yep. Time bonus. 211 points. Oh, it is 300 Your score for this level was... It is 5 minutes. 571 okay. points. It is 5 Your minutes. Your total yeah. score is... 12,654 And no, Garrett, the volcano points. does keep following you. It's just if you move fast enough, it hopefully doesn't... Wow. I just didn't code it to intense. speed up. I should have. I'm, I'm so glad I didn't get fried. Ooh. Well, I'm safe. I'm safe for now, I guess, which is definitely a good thing. Whoa! This has got to be one of the weirdest there should be a bonus I've pit ever for seen the fire in, level two in, called in my hell. entire life. <laughs> I just I have no idea where the heck I am. Well, well, Super Liam, I want to welcome you to my silver spaceship. But it's blue, not silver. Shut up, I know it's blue. I'm colorblind. Silver is such a much better color. <laughs> Wouldn't you say? Well, anyways, I'm glad you could check out the spaceship because you won't be here for too long. Guards, take care of him, please. Silver Spaceship Act Warner Cat One. Says he likes the, They like this track. Yes, this is a good track, um, for sure. We're about to get to the longest cutscene of the entire game. Oh, I know. Does the GPS tell him they're on a spaceship? <laughs> anyway, you know, I just saw that. Yeah, but you know what's funny is there's no more Doctor Cork. Like he's gone. I, I don't. I don't think he's anywhere else in the game. Actually, if you get on outside of the hearing range of the vote, no, no, it'll always move forward. Um, it just moves slow. I, I know that because I. I mean, I coded it and it doesn't stop. It just you can outrun it. So somebody. Somebody with the name Gordon Ramsay on Quentin said that they played this game a lot at the start of the pandemic. 
Nice. They would say they said it was a lot of fun staying up until two in the morning playing this. All right, let's try this. Ready? So, uh, silver spaceship. Uh, it's silver and it's a spaceship. Oh, it's blue. Sorry. Yes. And yeah, it's a spaceship. Um, I don't know the the. There's some new enemies. Obviously, Act Two we have to talk about because that's got the Easter egg that I have to show off because I'm gonna need some lives. So I'm going to farm it. Yep. So here we go. I actually like this level a lot. I love the lasers. These. Oh, damn. 61%. This is intense. Ouch. Ow. I don't know how I'm gonna make it through people lab. You're gonna have to farm the beginning of Act 2. We'll talk about that later. Oh, yeah, I am. Oh, jeez. Silver Ooh. Spaceship, Act 1. One life's. Also, you can use the shift key to turn. Useful in. go it's all coming back to me now the lasers love you Liam well the feeling is not mutual <laughs> super freak <laughs> what do you say? Come on, Liam. Laser doesn't beat laser. I know. Use your rock, paper, scissor rules here. Stop trying to shoot them. The Godfather detected. says, see? We needed a death counter after all. They're intruders. Oh, wait, I'm an intruder. My neighbor says, Liam, stop getting Health yourself boost. killed, literally. Hey, look! End of the level! Yay! Alright, now you're gonna have to f talk about Act 2, and you're gonna have to farm Act 2. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely farming it a little bit. Time bonus. 202 points. Your score for this level was 1,782 so, um, points. Your total score God, is 14,436 um, points. What you Silver don't, Spaceship God, Act so, 2. What, what you don't see is um, in... Uh, you don't actually see your coordinates. So what you don't realize is that you're not starting at the beginning of the level. You're actually starting like 50 squares in. So normally at the beginning of a level, you can't go backwards, right? This level, you can. And if you go back here, there's a laser. Yeah, that was... But it doesn't matter. Because... Health boost. Extra life. And now you have a choice here. You can grab this extra life, set off the switch, and die. Or you can kill everything and continue. Extra life. But I'm going to let them kill me. Silver spaceship. Act 2. Because guess what? Two lives. I have two lives now. So all I have to do... Get yourself up to like five... More like nine. At least. Health boost. Extra life. 
I tried to get Silver away. Silver spaceship. Perfectly killable. Act I could two. get that second life and kill them easily. Yeah, but I do. I really want to go. I I mean, this is a great look. Look, now I got kill three yourself with lives. Laser. Health boost. Seven five percent. Oh wow! Yeah. Extra life. Extra life. Oh, there were more. Silver Spaceship, Act 2, there you 4, go. Lives. Be a man. Health boost. So, extra life. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to get myself some extra life. <laughs> They kill you fast. Silver spaceship. I have to say, I Act like that. Two. Yeah, they you know, there's a lot of them. And it's cool because there's more that actually are coming from further out. Health boost. Extra life. Six so. lives. Extra life. <laughs> so I'm going to do that one more time, Silver but I'm going to kill you. Silver spaceship. Act two. What's that? I said, yeah, we're sorry, everyone. Liam has to farm. I think it was one of the earliest games where you farmed. It is. Like one of the earliest audio games uh, with farming in it. It really is. Super Freak says, I like how you get a pain sound overlapping <laughs> with the death sound. Shut up, Munawar. <laughs> oh, no, Munawar. Oh. I'm not reading that. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Garrett says it would have been cool to see a level where you had to go all the way to the left and set it to the right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dang. How, how would you know what that sounds like? I mean, Oops. health boost. So I'm gonna extra light. Do one more where they kill me. That's silver spaceship. Yeah, I, act no. two. No Munoir, no. That's a, that's a negative. Blind gamer says hashtag Liam the farmer. Health oh, boost. Extra farm. life. See how easy that is if you're just prepared for it? Look. Really? Oh, what the heck? 65. Right, I'm gonna die. Right, get yourself killed. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's... Silver Spaceship. What's Act the life two, counter? Eight, eight lives. lives. Oh, we, we can grab ten and then be okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Health boost. Extra life. Extra life. Yep. All right, now we're going to actually play the level for real. Here we go. So much empty space. Is it a great one? Forty-one percent. There's robots. 
Yeah. Dogs. Yep. Got that one. Clear. Okay. Until you step on a switch, you're just coming out. Health boost. Health boost. Oh, yeah, Sixty nine percent. Hey, thanks, game. Remember the one in Act Two of Lethal Lab? I love that one. The drop off at the very end, yeah. Yeah. Come on. A lot of dogs. All right. There. Yeah, this is um. <laughs> I just opened up on it. Like, it takes two hits, Liam. Calm down. Yeah, and you can't jump the lasers because the lasers are shooting down, not up. You could jump them. Well, I mean, you could jump them, but like, you can't. That's what I've been doing. While they're firing. Not while they're firing. Yeah. But I mean, like. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to explain it to a YouTuber. Oh. Yeah. Extra life. Health boost. Perfect. 69%. There we go. Wait, this does show how horrible my hearing has become. But I just adjusted my headphones. Let's see if that helps. Intruder detected. See if this helps. Right, and then I'm gonna have another intruder detected here in a moment. I think I remember this. It's like it's just not done, you know? Yeah. There we go. Super Freak says, giving the hearing loss, you do pretty well, IMO. Okay, so, uh, this is and Laser Garrett Bot. is going to... No, sorry? Garrett, Garrett wants you to explain a little bit about your hearing loss, if you are willing to. I don't know what um, there's to explain. To I... it's your right ear that's mainly the yeah, problem. Yeah, my, my right ear is, is torched. Like, yeah. Um... Uh, let's see. The rest of it has all pretty much been covered. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know what I mean. I don't know what else. I can uh, the mean. evil chocolate cookie wants to know from Quentin what the range on the weapon is. What's that? I'm sorry. What? Um, she wants to know what the range on your laser is. I don't know. Pretty far. A uh, couple people asked me if I had an address for Scramble. I don't have an address right now. Um, when the game, like when he announces a website. Okay, I will definitely Please wait for the release. post it, yeah. All right, so here we go. Laser bot, and then um, long cutscene. So laser bot, um, I'm going to, once we uh, Time bonus, get through this. Points. Oh my Your God. score for this level was <laughs> wow, 4,408 points. Your total score is 18,844 yeah. points. Well, well, Liam, I'm 
done with you. I'm, I'm sick and tired of dealing with you. So I'm gonna make this simple. Very simple. That robot there that's running away from you, who just appeared randomly because I don't know how he got there, that is Laserbot. Thanks, bot. Commander Crap. There's a reactor on the ship, and if <laughs> he gets to the reactor before you can, <laughs> it's going up, and so are you. And let me tell you, there's no planet within 50 million miles of the spaceship, so if it goes up, you're done. <laughs> Okay, so, Silver spaceship, um, laser bot battle. This one's fun. Um, and actually, this was... Okay, so around the time that I started drawing up plans for this game, I had watched some friends play Crash Bandicoot 2. And uh, so this boss and uh, X1 actually are kind of taken from that. Um, the um, fight with uh, Cortex in Crash 2, you're chasing him on a jetpack. And you have to hit him before he gets to the end of the level. This is the same kind of... Con I actually love um, the death scene in this. Yeah. When, uh, when he does make it. But that's where this comes from. Like It's that idea of it's a, ch it's a chase boss. And you have to get mm -hmm. the boss before he gets to a certain point. Otherwise you lose. Super Freak says Miles doesn't seem like a good way to measure in space. Yeah, I quite agree. It's one of the most bored sounding bad guys. Uh, like, dude, I want to conquer. This guy sounds like an evil Yoda. <laughs> but I love that. Like, I'm, I, I want to conquer the world, but I don't want to get up. All right. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> So yeah, he's firing lasers behind him. Yeah, so if you get too close to him, he'll warp away. Ah. Oh jeez! Silver spaceship. I forgot laser that laser battle. hurts. You were so close. Yeah. Ow. Game over. Yay, we win. Wins. No, it's not quite. There we go. Time for the longest cutscene in the whole game. Time bonus. Two hundred. Oh, you mean the game? The cutscene that was supposed Your to be a level. for this level was one. Yeah, the cutscene that was supposed to be a level. One hundred twenty-two points. Your total score is nineteen thousand nine hundred sixty-six points. Well, it's a good thing I got rid of him. Now I gotta find a way to get out of here. Alright, this looks like an escape pod to me. Laser, but no footsteps. Well, here we go. Shotgun Soup Spoon says, So happy I made it here. The first audio game I ever played was Super Leap. Heck yeah! And this is kind of thing, it's the kind of thing that I like watching. We're happy to have you. We got two levels left. Yep. So I like how he just finds like an escape pod, like, because that's how it works. Just randomly, like it's there. It just appears because he doesn't know how it got well, there. Well, it looks like I'm out of danger for the most part. Now to figure out where I gotta go with this thing. Oh, look at this. There's an autopilot switch. Great. There we go. Why now we'll go exactly where we need to go. Because it's gonna go somewhere, right? Oh, yeah. We're gonna go exactly where we need to go. Yes, we just skipped the whole level, actually. Yeah. All right, well, I'm somewhere. I don't know really where I am, but I see a building. See, there's a sign on the wall. Can't really read it, but I can make out X1. I don't really know where I'm supposed to go, but I think that building is my best solution. I just have a feeling if I march right in, I'm going to get killed, so I better find another way in. Oh, look at this. There's a grate. That's probably the way I can get in without anyone I should have been like, that's me. great. How am I going to get in? <laughs> I could blow it up, but that would make too much noise. 
Maybe I can melt it off with this laser gun. Let me see. Yeah, it worked. I got the grate off. There's no other way but down, so here goes. Whoa! Oh, jeez. Oh. God, what is this place? It's just water and all this equipment everywhere. Whoa, what is that? Ah, get out of here. Jeez. Okay, well, all I have left to do is explore and hopefully I'll find X1. Or maybe that would be a bad idea right about now. Waterworks. Oh, Act Waterworks. One. Also, yes, the Here laser changed. Uh, I noticed that. The different laser sound than in that cutscene. So, wait. I don't think all the sounds changed, Athir. You changed the fan. I thought I updated. Yeah, the fan is different. It's not the it's not the old one. No, it's not. Yeah, it's still the deep drumming one. So maybe I didn't change all the sounds. Sorry, guys. No. But that's actually easier to hear. Yeah. Sorry about that. So should we talk about the missing level? Because... We just, yeah, yeah, let's. So uh, when you escaped from Silver Spaceship, you were actually supposed to fly in your jetpack. It was a level that was mm -hmm. going to be called Stormy Skies. And it was going to be a level where you actually moved forward and went side to side, um, kind of like a top-down level. And you would have to avoid obstacles. And Garrett Brown donated $2 oh, thank through you, Garrett. Super Chat. Your free trial for semi-friendly X1 has expired. Yeah, right. <laughs> Patrick Kelly says, how would you blow it up with no explosives? Well, I'm assuming he's got Patrick explosives. Patrick says, I'm not even going to ask. I'm not even going to ask why a building for a, full of robots needs to be connected to the waste disposal infrastructure. Yeah, I don't know. I Well, I'm assuming so. That I'm assuming that by that this place is actually a water purification plant. So water flows through here. So it's not so much waste disposal. It's more of like a... Um, purification for like tap water that was always my um yeah why would x1 even build a sewer for his life listen i'm gonna say what i said at the top of this playthrough i didn't yeah. plan it out very well i i just did no things. he did it but it, like i said we thought it was amazing at the time yeah for sure but i i didn't think about this very well i wasn't like you know i just did it and i kind of figured yep what, what would happen would happen. Uh, um, so. But yeah. I, I Although I do love people are ripping on the, yeah, who just r appeared randomly. Okay. <laughs> God, I hate this level. I hate it so much. Those rats are creepy. Heck yeah, they are. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm glad the fan's different because. Yeah, you would have had a very hard time with that old fan. Oh, Can I please take this shortcut in Act 2? Take the shortcut in Act 2. I'm taking the shortcut, guys. I'm sorry, I can't. Brian T says he was seven when this game came out, but didn't get into playing audio I games until 2009. 192 points. Your score for this level was 2,342 points. Your total score is 22,308 points. Waterworks, act two. 
Okay, so. Mid Amber says, don't feel bad, every game has a plot. It's bonus time. Oh, sorry guys, bonus. I can't. Bonus level. level. So in this one, thousand point health boost. You just grab everything. Extra life. Extra life. Yeah, this is a good way of resetting your life. Oh. Thousand point bonus. Extra life. Thousand point bonus. Thirteen lives. Thousand point bonus. Okay, thirteen lives. All right, so yeah, I just skipped a level. I apologize, but there's no way. There's no freaking way. Time bonus: two hundred seventy-five points. Your score the for bonus this level, level was the voices four puts it thousand over the top. seven hundred twenty-five yeah. points. Your total score is twenty-seven thousand thirty-three All right, let's three do this points. Thing. This is the one that... Well, actually, this one's okay. Attention, you don't have to panic in this one. Liam. I know you're down there, so don't try and act like yeah, you're you not. Do. Because you get 60 seconds I to get out of here. You're down there. <laughs> 75, I think. I've set off the self-destruct oh, yeah, sequence yeah, in the waterworks, so in 75 seconds, See? it will blow yep. sky high. So, nice knowing you. <laughs> Did you deliberately make the theme for the, super, uh, for the bonus level to sync up oh, with man, your I steps, or was that by accident? Waterworks. Water uh, escape. I didn't make it. Like third of them with the bonus track. The bonus track. Oh, Alright. Look at me go! Yeah. Go with him, go. Oh, thank you so much. Teleporter. Wow, I made it already. It's, you know what's funny? It's all the, um, it all came back to me in that moment. Like, I was like, I remember playing Time this. Time bonus. 240. So Brian points. says, Your My name is for Brian, level was not Brian 1, T. You had it right the first time. 122 okay. points. Your we will total remember score that. is, so is 28,555. Yeah, okay. Confused. Points. Oh, Story yeah. of your life. If I can do that, I can do most anything. Now to find X1. From what I see here, George Wu says I was born in 2004 terminal. when this game came. It was released. See, I see. I wasn't. Wow, a layout. Oh, how you left me a lab layout right there. So if I'm here, yeah. How did you do that on an unsecure there, console, X1? You suck. I got to get through all of that. Wow. Well, I better Look start at moving. Liam I guess. expertly clicking it around. Detected. Oh yeah, I better get moving now. Lethal okay, lab. Okay, lethal act lab. One. Let's talk about this. Oh, yeah. Oh, See? It changed the... Yeah, the... Oh, yeah. So it didn't change the electric sounds. So Those are different, too. I thought I changed... Well, sorry, guys. Um, I wanted to play no, with yeah, all the original sounds. yeah, because that used to be sounds. just a hum. Yeah. I wanted to play with all the original sounds. So I apologize for not doing that. I thought I swapped them in. Oh, yeah, uh, AG Archive has the old... Okay, yeah, because I had the old sounds in another folder, but I must have updated some and... Yeah, whatever, I don't know. Isn't, like, X1 a god on this planet? I, I guess so. Sure. Why is X1, like, blowing things up sky high? Because it's fun. Dude, blowing up things is cool. But, yeah, Shotgun Spoon, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, again, if, if you're just tuning in... Um, this is the Super Liam Marathon. We are currently on a uh, Lethal Lab. I almost called it Lethal Lava Land, but that's Super Mario 64. Um, oh, geez. So we're going to play this. I think we're going to talk a little bit more. I might play uh, the like what I was building with SL2 um, and uh, might, depending on how I feel, 
Maybe I'll show off something unrelated. I don't know. Let me let me see. Um, yeah. But uh, so um, that is um, what's going on here. This is the marathon. Uh, I am kind of on the side raising money for the move. The move is coming up in April. Um, I will be moving to Missouri, uh, middle of April. And so uh, any donations are going towards just kind of easing that financial burden of the move. If there's like anything that has to be replaced, because like I'm not bringing furniture or anything. So like if I need to get like any furniture or something like that, fortunately, I'm going to have a desk where I'm going, but like not bringing, well, I'm bringing a chair, but you know, I, I don't, not bringing a lot of stuff. Um, so it's going to kind of help with that. Um, also, please we, help. We are broadcasting on HKC Radio, so big thanks to HKC for uh, letting me be a kick-ass creative today. And uh, you can check out hkcradio.com. You can also ask Siri, Alexa, or Google to play HKC Radio and listen on your device. doesn't get much easier than that. Um, I'm trying to think what else. We're also on... wants to know what exactly X1 did wrong. Oh, you're still doing announcements? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say we're also on Playroom. Uh, there's a playroom uh, free table open where people are chatting and listening to the broadcast. And uh, big thanks to Athir for being here as always. And uh, thanks to my awesome patrons. If we didn't have patrons, we would not have a stream today. I wouldn't be playing this game for you Yay, guys and talking trade. about it. So special thanks. Let's have a patron Patreon appreciation day. Um, Because we just finished uh, Volcano Escape. Oh, no. Wait. I mean. We finished that a while ago. Um, That's uh, yeah. three levels ago now. Yeah, whole uh, teleporter straight to the lab. Uh, X one's laziness is at a whole nother level here. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure he's just lazy. He's like, whatever. I got this. See, and I remember our mindset back in those times because the the reasoning was if you can get through all of those obstacles, you would be where his workers are and they would have a teleporter that would lead them from their labs to their waterworks in case they needed to run maintenance. Yeah. What's really funny about this, um, yeah, you can clearly hear the pauses when the person is reading the script. So um, I will tell you, I don't think I scripted much of this game, uh, which is part of the problem. No, he I didn't. think if I had written a script, it would have been better, um, but there was no script. Yeah. So the pauses are literally me trying to ad lib, which sucks. I don't want to do that again. Um, ad libbing is fun if you can do it. Like if you know where you're going with something and you've got it mapped out. I literally didn't. I just threw things out there and was like, okay, we're done. But I've learned a lot from that experience now and, and how to do things and more importantly, how not to do them. Uh, Levi says, once you're finished, can you show us what all the sounds were? Yeah, I, I don't know, all because I sounds. don't, apparently I don't have them. So I would have to go grab them. And what I want to actually do is I think when we finish with this, um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to play the Super Liam 2 thing that I was building and just kind of yeah. play with that a little bit because it's interesting. Um, also, should we talk about the plans that you had for the later story arc that was involved with Super Liam 2? No, because I don't know where I'm going with it yet. Okay. Um, I mean, I technically, I mean, if you want like how the game really goes, play the game book because that's exactly how Super Liam One ends. Like, <laughs> yeah. Literally, it's a dream. Sorry to ruin that for you guys, um, but that was the whole mythos. Is it didn't really happen because that's what I like to do to you guys. Yeah, it's a lot easier with a script than improv. I learned that. Um, yeah. And you just can't add I mean it's it's hard to ad lib unless you're good at it. If you're if you it can is. ad lib it's fine. Alright, here we go. Lethal Oh, we were supposed to talk about this this level. This level sucks. Um it just sucks. That's, oh, this level sucks. This yeah. was my I want electric to electric barriers, holes, yeah. lasers later oh, on. Holes with robots. no noise. That's the best part. There's no sound to let you know where they are. Yeah, there is no sound for these holes. And that was completely There's just on the, purpose. The, the two-step drop-off warning, and that's it. Yep. And that's it. And I, I did that on purpose because I was like, I just want to make something that is annoying, difficult, kind of like you've got all these skills now. You're gonna put them to the test. And I'm gonna throw And there are some death traps here. Oh, like yeah. some real death traps. Oh, those are the Oh, those are the old robots. Yeah. 
Those do sound way more dangerous. Oh, I don't know. The other one sounded like an impenetrable force. They just sounded like a 60 cycle hum. An impenetrable force field. this level. Have I studied that yet? Yes. Okay. I'm going to probably mention it a bunch more times. But I don't like this level. See, I'm so scared of, because I know me. Backward talking robots. And I know I that mean, I... I remember reversing the sound and trying to understand what they are saying and couldn't understand anything except the word points. The thing about this, this these robots, or this this level, is I like to put holes right next to the jumps. Behind you. Those were the death traps for only Act 1. Oh, boy. Yeah. Time bonus. 161 points. Your score this for this level, level has always was felt more personal and deadly to me. Eight. Hundred thirty yeah. one. Like X one wasn't missing. Your total uh, score is anymore, and there was no more fun in games. One no, thousand free. three hundred. That's pretty much exactly what it was meant to do. Points. Yeah, Lethal this is kind of like uh, Mitchell two. wants to know what the robots were saying. I have no idea. Oh my god! Look at that. Liam does not remember. Yep. Because I don't I know. This. It's just a sound thing. I didn't use anything. I just took something from a thing and. Oh my god, I forgot that there's a pit right there. I hated this. Oh. Oh. Do not like. And look, you get those robots. Remember those? Yep, you get a little bit of everything in Act Two. The only thing, and I'll tell, I'll talk about this in Act. Yeah. What? I'll talk about it after. Most of these are pretty fair. Like, they're not super close together. Okay, so uh, let me pause for a minute because you wanted to say that, and I, I need a second. Whew. You didn't include the monkey trees in this, so that you can have everything from act uh, from you know the game. So and the you didn't reason include the cyclist. There's supposed to be an act three. Uh, hi, messenger. That was great. How you doing? Uh, there's supposed to be an act three that um, would would actually take you between level parts. So you'd start on the beach, then you'd hit a teleporter, go to the streets, go to the woods, and it was supposed to be like a rush. 
hmm. but I never coded it. That I don't remember. Okay. No, it didn't happen. Uh, blind Blind Ninja 97 says, if you reverse this sound, they actually are speaking, but I don't remember what they say. It's been many years. Um, Munaywer says, I like the ambient um, hum in the level. It sounds like you're in a power plant. Yeah, it really does. supposed to sound like, so that's awesome. And the hum needs to be there, Super Freck. It's the ominous part of the game. Yeah. I don't like that there's objects Health here. boost. Oh, God, this part. Health boost. I love and hate this thing. Yeah, don't forget what awaits you. I know, I know. This was my favorite part of the level, though, to build. Because you're just kind of like, oh, those lasers are gonna. I won't see those again, will I? You were a jackass for what you did with those at the end. Yes. Because I make you want to do something that you shouldn't do. And I'm just taking the hit. Because what do you want to do right there? You want to jump, right? You want to jump. Percent. But if you do... You want to jump. Okay, so thank you, Kevin. Here we go. I, I actually thought there was one more. I'm glad there wasn't. I thought there's was gonna be one more rush there. Um, so I've actually made it, and uh, that actually I'm really shocked. Actually, um, so this is gonna be the final battle. I'm not gonna do. There's a bug that I know about. I'm not doing it. I'm gonna show you the way you're supposed to play it. Shotgun spoon said. No, I don't now I know where Manamon 2 got its lasers from, LOL. Boss Rush would have been so fun. Oh, for sure. Blind Insanity, the Super Liam sounds came from different sound libraries and some sounds that Liam made himself. Yeah, they all over the place. Um, That's mostly it for that. Okay, so let's do this. You ready? This is one of my favorite battles. Um, this came out the, exactly the way I wanted it to. Kind of based on the nitrous um, or the engine fight. Bryant says from, on Quentin. Uh, Cortex. Yeah. I think if this game hadn't uh, ever existed, we wouldn't have had a lot of the concepts that we have today. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily true. I feel like someone else would have done it. Uh, I, I feel like someone would have come along and, and done this. But I'm glad that I did it. And I'm glad that I pushed it forward and showed that we could have what we have. But if it hadn't been me, I think someone else would have done it. I truly yeah. believe that. What do you think, Kevin? Volcano escape. Uh, okay, that's cool. Um, I, 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 do, you, do you say anything else? Volcano escape. Okay. All right. Well, that, that's cool. I guess not. I was hoping. Uh, so apparently the robot sound says fascinating eating let's. Okay. That's cool. Wow. You never answered my question about when, what X1 did wrong and why we have to kill him. Because Dr. Quirk says so, Munaywer. Exactly. Because he's evil. And you have to kill evil things. Yeah. That's the way the world works. I think. Exactly. Kill evil things. Yeah. Kill the fear. 
<laughs> All right, here we go. So this is the way you're supposed to do the battle. Obviously, there's a bug where you can stand on the edge and do nothing, but we're not Time doing that. bonus, 52 mm -hmm. points. Your score for this level was 4,978 wow. points. Your total score is 36,364 points. Oh, boy. Yes, this is it. This is the door. I know it for sure. <sighs> because this is the last level, Liam. Here yeah, nothing. basically, Liam. Come on. Like, give it a Liam! Ooh, Super Liam was flipping. Oh. Oh. Well, oh, well. Look who dropped by to say hi. Look <laughs> who dropped by to say Where hi. Where is it by? <laughs> Black Ninja 97 says, wait, that's a well, bug? I always well, thought that there was a, an Easter egg in there. Nope, that's a bug. You should never be able to do that. You versus me. I have a lot of other things to do, like blow up the earth. But before I do that, I thought I'd play a little game with you since... See me anywhere? That's why you're supposed to kill him, for what he just so said. He wants to blow up the earth. Yeah, he wants to blow up our home. In front of you are yeah, our poor friends. earth. You're standing on yeah. the Is your move... I mean, if he would just blow up a fear, I'd be like, that's cool. Whatever. Hey, listen to X1 being so helpful. That laser packs quite a punch. Oh, you, you should have seen in Super Mario 64, King bob -omb. He's like, you can't get up behind me and grab me and throw me. There's no way you can do that. X1 battle. Like, he tells you exactly what to do. All right. So, you got a laser coming. You don't want to stay on that platform. You have no so I believe if I stand here, it can't touch me. Yeah, see, look, it can't hit me. Uh huh. That's awful. But okay, so what you're supposed to do is it's supposed to chase you. Again, that's how it's supposed to work. Yes, he does say that. I think that was your idea. It was my idea. Also, you know, you can jump into him and you'll lose. You'll get electrocuted? Because it hits the force field. Well, you're I like this boss though. I think it's cool. Like I think it is. But I like that the way it's supposed to work is it's supposed to like just destroy that platform that you're standing on. Well, it doesn't destroy it, but it hits anything that's on it, you know? Well, I mean, it's supposed to target you. Yeah. yeah. And I love that it's a one-hit kill, so that all this boss is a one-hit kill. And I love that. It's very Dr. Robotnik-esque from uh, Sonic. It is. Like the final levels where it was always one. Right. So you see where a lot of my ideas come from, you know, when you stop to think about it. Oh. I wanted more. He just short circuited. Boy, did he ever. Hello, I'm so easy and boring. I love Midiaware says we'll probably end up blowing it up ourselves. Time bonus. One hundred. Do we want to play this or play the points. music at the end? Your score for this level was oh, let's play five thousand. Because you gotta enjoy yeah, the credits, right? Four well. one yeah, points. Stay with it. Your total score is forty one thousand. That's kind of a low score. Hundred five. 
point. So that's okay. It is. Yeah, but that's okay. So you do all that, and then you get one of the most beautiful things ever. Credits. Programming by Liam Irvin. Music designed by Kevin Reeves, Clarence Griffin, and Damon Fabrio. Voiceovers by Kevin Reeves. Character voices by Liam Irvin. Score system by Colt Myshak and J. Eldon Gillespie. Game melody by Greg Brayton. End theme by Kevin Reeves. Special thanks to Robison Bryan. Austin Nick says, congratulations for doing this without falling down a hole. I know. Well, um, I fell in some fire. But I didn't. I mean, lethal. or Yeah, lethal lab. Lethal lava land. Um, I did perfectly, which I'll take it. I Whoa. punched a monkey. Ooh. Oh, Beta Team, Jared Jika, Don Coco, Will James, Derek Lane, H.F., so Chris Nestrud, Kevin Reeves, Clarence Griffin, Damon Fabrio, Carl Bellinger, Joe Derek Quinn, Lane and Philip Benfall. I know, right? And Philip. And Don Coco, rest in peace. Yeah, Don Coco. Jam and Jerry is the only person who is, like, has been on there ever since. Oh, I love how it goes with the music. Did you catch yep. that? The two fireworks? That was accidental. I did. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't feel so good, though. It's like, wow, I went through all this and I'm getting this epic. I just feel. I absolutely love this end music. Holy crap. Oh, hold on, Ethereum. It's completely drowning you out. Oh, and at the end, you get the Elwich logo. I forgot about that. Here it is. <laughs> I love that. Oh, my God. I Copyright love it. 2004 Elwich. All rights reserved. Huh. Wow. I did it. I beat him. I defeated X1. I can't believe I defeated X1. I... Well, what's this? What's this? It's, it's a crystal of some kind. It's... wow. Well, I'll just, I'll just take this. I could probably use it for something. Oh, jeez. What, what's going on? What's going... To be continued. And you still get the game over. It's Hold like on. my favorite music. Yup. Your final score is forty one thousand nine hundred five points. Please. So yeah, I mean, lot to. Talk about that. Wow. So so much nostalgia. Yeah. Jeez Louise, this game. So that that is um super Liam. I so mean, like says this ending theme is so good, it still gives me chills. Yeah, that ending theme ages really well. Um it's one of the best parts of the game. The game over music is probably my favorite music of the entire game, even though it's Oh, so sorry about your show when you played on your channel, it fell down a hole four times. Yeah. Um, oh, and then Wallabies. Yep. Yeah. So if you play the um, Super Liam 2 game book, which is not real. <laughs> I oh, punched geez. a monkey. Thank you so much. Lem donated $10. Good luck with the move in April. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, big thanks to everyone that's donated. Um, and, and big thank you to everyone that's been here. So we're going to do a couple more things. If, if you're like, okay, game's done. I can leave. Um, hang around. I'm going to play the wrong. sort of, what's that? No, I was saying wrong. Yeah, wrong. Uh, I'm going to play a couple things. Um, let me, I just want to dash off a quick. Oh. 
Okay. Minera says, I go back and listen to some credit scenes at the end of some of these games, and it's always a nice reminder of like how much people have worked. Yeah. Um, and it, I agree. I, I love, I just, that scene makes me really happy. Um, I remember when Kevin sent me the music and he knocked it out. And I think like a couple hours, he was just like, I'm going to make something. And it was mm-hmm. so good. Yeah. Like, it was I awesome. just, um, in fact, we'll play the music at the end of the stream. So that's a good reason to stick around. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, it, it just, and I remember when the game launched and, and people were just like, wow. And, People beat it quickly. Yeah. Obviously, it's not a hard, long, super tough game. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I can. Okay, so yeah, I can. I just have to be vague on some certain things. Um, that's like two thirds of us. Yeah. Look at the 62 right now. This is amazing. I think we had almost 70. We were at 67 like a few seconds ago. Yeah, and we did get up to 70. So that's awesome. I appreciate it. I know some people were. Some people had to go because it was really late where they were. Yeah, that's okay. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna play. I think a little of the SL2 thing again. I'm gonna show it to you guys, but I want you to understand this is not exactly um, what this is gonna be. But I've been playing around with it. And I know people kind of want to look at it. Um, I actually, I think I'm going to run it in the, do I run it in the new system? I don't no, know. No, run it in the original. Run it in the original. Yeah. Because I think I didn't yeah. completely sort the new system out. Run it in the original. Okay. Although if I'm going to run this other thing, I do need to show it. I, I hold on. Just give me a quick second, really. Quick. No, I, I think you should wait for the other. No, thing. No, no, I got the okay to do the other thing. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I just asked. Okay. I just All right. was told not be, to be specific on what it's. Gotcha. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying. I think yep. sometimes it's hard for you to understand concepts, but I think you get this one. You know, the concepts are far beyond me. Well, you're not I very smart. So I just want to make sure that I'm not overloading your tiny brain. I just want them to be death. Because let, let's be honest, you're not very smart. At, at Super all. Freak says, LOL, not ta- not knowing what they're talking about. It's hilarious hearing this. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sorry. There'll, there'll be a lot. I think more stuff's going to get. So why don't I do the th- I'm going to do the thing first. Do, uh, well, no, I, I think you should tease the thing and do the Super Liam concept demo first. Okay. You want me to do the, the concept? All right. Well, it's not. I wouldn't. Yeah. Careful. I wouldn't call the, it the, concept the demo. Second. This is more of a tech demo. Yeah, tech demo right. thing. So this is a tech demo. Oh, God. It's got music. I got to turn the music off Um, oh. because I'm going to get dinged if I don't. So hold on. Austin says, love the casual insults between you two. Well, I mean, insulting Liam is like insulting like a two-year-old. Like the insults just come to you. It's, yeah, but it's you really look like a two-year-old, kind of just... so you'd know. I mean, and you have the Forever IQ young, of a two-year-old. Baby. All right. So hold on. I'm going to, um, let me mute this super quick because I don't want to get dinged. So I'm using music from Audio Network Ether, and I'm that's what I was using as filler. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, just turn that down. Yeah, completely. so let me turn that off. Oh god, why isn't it loading? Oh, because it's doing t- text to speech. Can I force screener? Yeah, sweet. I can. There you go. All right. Let me just just so, turn that off. There's some great music. I can't share it with you. Uh, which I apologize for. Okay. Main menu, please select an option. Are you hearing that? The um Yes. Start game. But are you hearing start game? Options. Options. Yes. Yes, yes. All of it. 50, 45. Okay. Exit. Op- start game. Options. Okay. So um I Insulting Liam is, is exactly like breathing. Yes, through. thank you. So 
So uh, what he's playing right now to kind of catch game. people up is like a tech demo a of tech what demo would have of... been like Super no, Liam 2-ish like kind of thing. Yeah. Now keep in mind, this is like, um, I'm just playing these. This is like features that I've added that I was testing, things like that. Right. Harold, Liam, can you hear me? Liam, unfortunately. Harold, okay, good. Pit up your enemies, so gather here in the park. You need to clean them out. Try out the new power suit and its weapons. Liam, what the hell do I look like? Some third-rate cleaning service? Harold, good luck. The world is counting on you. Liam, counting on me to clean out the damn park. Drug dealers hang out here all the time. I don't think a couple robots tearing everything up is a big deal, but fine. I might as well try out these new weapons. Liam, out. All right, so we have uh, weapons. We start with our fists. Look at that. And you can pick up coins. I know, it's very similar to another game, isn't it, Luthier? Quite. What? I said quite similar, yes. What other audio game lets you pick up coins? Just let's get it out of the way now. BK3. Thank you. And before you ask, yes, I got permission from Yukio to steal things from BK3. I actually asked him, I'm like, do you mind if I steal things? He was like, that's okay. I stole things from Super Liam. I was like, okay. And look. Yeah, there, you, uh, you even have like a camera system in here, you too. You can jump and you can hold down the arrow keys. All right, so I'm going to open this gate. Oh, I went past it. Liam K, this is kind of fun. Do you think the robots have any souls? Like, do you think it's hurting them that I'm killing them? They're what? They're robots. Of course they have no souls. <laughs> Liam, okay, well, I will continue massacring robots then. Hey, I get paid for this, right? So how about another weapon, Ethier? Mini laser. How about a mini laser? Oh, there you go. Super Pete says he's fair since he stole from Judgment Day. He asked me before he did it, though. Uh oh. Reload. He's playing the tech demo of things that he was working on developing for Super Mario 2. Ish. What? Coin. Alright, let's use another weapon. How about the. Well, it's done. Didn't you hear that jingle? So there's no. I know, more no, no, I know, but I'm going to switch weapons. Oh, okay. Three or four. Just pick a number. No, this is this game is side scrolling, uh, Bailey. Pick a number, three or four, if you. Uh, four. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah. Robotic dogs, that's kind of messed up. Daryl, be careful. Their fight is worse than their heart. Liam, if you were trying to be funny, you failed horribly. Ugh. What? What? Yep. Robotic dogs return. Ah. Ah. Yes, I'm beating things with a whip. I think it's like the latest there does not drain battery when it's selected and not in use. No. Nope. It just uses. It has ammo clips. I'll show you in a second. Yep. Get these guys out here with my whip. I'm like Indiana Liam. Yes. Oh, the troopers take multiple hits. With the whip? Yeah, it's weaker, remember? Oh, yeah. Alright, so, yeah, if you take the laser out. Nine batteries. Nine batteries. Seven ammo. Seven ammo. Eight batteries. Thirty-seven ammo. Uh, guys, stop assuming that this is something that's coming out. This is just something that he's playing. Oh, is everyone um, like... And demoing. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is not coming out anytime soon, if at all. Um, this is just something that he had worked on once in a while. It doesn't mean that he's working on releasing it or anything like that. Um, so, I mean, don't ask about testing. Don't yeah, ask when yeah, it's coming yeah, out. This don't. is just a tech demo that he developed a long time ago. This is not something now, he developed recently. Unfortunately for me, what I'm going to show you after this is going to make you go, oh. But, um, yeah, I mean... All right, let's do the streets. Liam, wow, the streets don't look so good. Enemies everywhere. Harold, you may want to hot-foot it through this area. There's a warehouse dead ahead. Liam, hot-foot it. Please tell me fire is not involved. There are two things I hate and one of them is fire. 
Errol, don't worry, it's just an expression. Speaking of, what is that second thing you ate anyways? Lexi, that was weapon four, not three. Liam, don't worry about it, it's not important. Errol, taxes, commitment, dying, what is Weapon it? three, you'll find out right now. Liam, will you shut up? I'm surrounded by enemies here. This radio needs a new switch in the worst freaking way. Pulser. Here's the pulser, number three. <laughs> Also, I love how the amp, the bolt, like the weapon, actually travels when you fire it. So, like, if I fire with the dog, it actually travels. Here's weapon five. Just punch these things. So one of the things I was also trying out were different level types. So this is just the get to the end of the level type. This is the enemies keep spawning. I guess this could be the farm coins level, couldn't it? Super Freak wants to know, is the dog saying something while it dies? No, not really. It's just doing a no, it's just going, oh, I'm a dog, oh, and I'm dead. Blind Gamer likes that that you had for the Pulsar. Ooh. Uh, Patrick wants to know if the dog voices were done by you. No. <laughs> hey, uh, ready for weapon seven? Yep. Surprise! That won't get us uh, get you copyright violated. Whoa! What happened? How did I just die? How did you just die? Wait. Main menu. Please select. What happened? There is not water. No. There's not supposed to be water there. Arcane. What uh, just? I think you hit a wall or something. No, Gee. that was water. Oh no! How is that? What was that supposed to be? I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's go on to the third level. Level select. Leave the city the streets. The warehouse. Liam, what the hell, man? Fire? Why does it have to be fire? Harold, you have to find the way over it. Perhaps you can use the platforms above you to navigate. Liam, perhaps you should go stick it. Harold, if you need extra assistance, you can use your suit's built-in sonar. Just press the S key to toggle it on or off. Liam, press the what? What the hell are you even talking about? Harold, you can also use your suit's built-in camera by holding down shift and using your arrows. Different types of tiles make different sounds. Liam, are you on drugs or something? None of this is making any freaking sense. Harold, good luck, Super Liam. Liam, good luck, that's it. Just good luck, not like Use a jetpack or maybe I have fireproof boots. Can I press the LMNOP key to fly or something? Hello, are you listening to me? So this is where we got into some of the cool platforming. Sonar on. So here's the sonar. If I like walk, anything above my head, beeps. Oh, can't, can't do that. But I can uh, jump up here. Oh, look, I'm up on a platform. And now I can use the camera. Hold down the shift key. And look, I can look around. Can't go up there. I better check. Can I... Uh... And uh, pay attention, everyone who can hear it. Huh? So when, as you near the edge of a platform, it starts to echo. Also, yes, there are platforms above you. Because... You can climb up those. However, I, shouldn't there be a platform there? Somewhere off. Somewhere on. I think you went the wrong way. No, I, I think you can... Oh, I think that's a bug. Why am I standing on top of the wall? Okay, maybe this is bugged. So there's supposed to be all those platforms up there where you can climb up and get to that door, but it's not working. Whoa. So. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. Also, if I went backwards, I could step in the fire. Which would be a really bad idea. Yes, it would. Also, I can't reach that platform. It's above my head. See, it's up there. So I'll have to go through the store. Mm -hmm. oh there are some enemies ahead. Liam, thank you, Captain Obvious. Let me guess. I have to kill them, right? Harold, exactly. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's like Super Liam made love to me. K3 and scrolling battles wants in on it. <laughs> so here's something cool, right? 
These guys can't hit me that because they're highly irritating. They're behind a wall. See? They're like trying to attack me. But I can throw a bomb. But well, watch, watch what happens if I throw a bomb and I'm too close. It killed them, but it also hurt me. Look at this. 75% health. Look at those coins. Leave is an ambush. It's an ambush. I forgot I said that. Arrow, attack quick. Don't let them get the upper hand. I love how Liam can't understand fourth wall breaking, says Garrett. Liam, I wasn't planning on this. Oh, I understand fourth wall. I'm breaking it real bad. No, it's like super late. Well, it's... The whole point is, whenever you play a game, characters always do this. Like, press this key. Yeah, they my do. my character's like, yep. what? Looks like I'm safe for now. Thanks. And that's that. Okay. There you go. Main menu, please. So there's a little of the Super Liam uh, tech thing. Yeah. And it was not really... going to be released or anything anytime soon. But I wanted, if to, at show all. It. I wanted to show it to you but... guys because people ask about like, you know, what did you, were you working on stuff? Were you doing stuff? And obviously I was doing Brain Station. Um, but yeah. I was also, you know, working on, on that as well. Um, so I got the okay to play something mm -hmm. um which i i'm i'm going to play um and i'm gonna play this with the proviso that i i'm not gonna be very specific on a lot of things and there's the the main the main reason is i was asked not to be um but you can probably put two and two together. And for those that put it together, that's great. But uh, I'm going to be a little, uh, unspecific here. Um, I want to check something really quick. Just be completely unspecific. Just play it. Then don't mention anything about it. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Soon. I promise. I think something's also going to get mentioned today as well. Um, and, and it'll make more sense, but you know, you leave it to the, uh, leave it to the mentioner. Yep. All right. I'm just changing that. Now let's introduce super Liam to fire monsters says Garrett. We could, I don't want to super freak says, is it constant motion? Is it constant motion? No, it's something familiar, but that's what's cool is it's something familiar. Um, let me... Oh, right. Harmonica player wants to know what the coins you would have gotten would have been used for. So buying those upgrades? coins would have been used for buying upgrades for your weapons and for your suit and stuff like that. Yeah, like I said, I borrowed pretty heavily from BK3. Um, yep. I, and, and I'm okay with saying that because he told me i could you know all right so uh let's let's play this hopefully this runs actually because there's been some changes so i don't know if this is gonna run actually oh boy oh, yeah, no yeah, yeah. god why is that running um hold on well um oh you know what i could do i'm gonna run the compiled yeah, the older version. Yeah, let's just do that because something broke. I didn't break it, but okay. So, um, yeah, we're, we're just going to run this. Um, blah, 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 blah. Let me. Um... Okay, so you're not hearing that, right? You're not hearing my screen. I right heard now. it. Yeah, but you heard... No, not your screen reader, but right, I heard on. this. Yeah, I heard the... Now my Skype's going off like crazy. Hold on. Um, Superfreak says, well, everyone borrowed your lower pitch for uh, things that are behind you, so... The, par uh, the camera and stepping borrow thing is not much different. 
Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, um, I'll send you an error log later, uh, Sam. It, I, I'm just running compiled. I think I, it's just with stuff. I, I, I just got to import it later. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I'm not. I, I can just say that it's using an engine, and go with that. Um, apparently, it's been talked about, but I'm just not getting specific, and that's where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> he's like I thought it was a closely knit secret he's like well he's like that way you can avoid these 15 minute try to skirt around the issue discussions mm -hmm. on stream so yeah i we're just not being very specific for some reasons that are reasons that we're being i'm still being really uncomfortable um okay how do i change damn it that's why i think you should have waited yeah well Said it was okay. Don't, Next time, listen to don't me. Start with me. You know? All right, here we go. So, yes. Blinded Guide version 1.2. Welcome to Blinded Guide. Press enter to continue. Language menu. Please select the language for the game. This can always be changed later. English. Espanol. Deutsch. Polsky. Afrikaans. Sky. Perseid. Pirate Speak. Super Freak says it's using Unity. Nah. That's right. No. Press enter to continue. Find the guide main menu. Please select an option. Arcade mode. So I have a couple new options, Ethier. Mm -hmm. A couple new things you can do. A uh, couple hotkeys. Uh, pressing F2. HRTF disabled. HRTF enabled. Using Sappy. Using screen reader. So yes, blinded guide with HRTF. Ready? Let's play a mode. Okay, mode difficulty medium. Hit it. Level one. Live left three. Press enter to continue. Hey, I could choose the first level. Ha! Uh, you can't touch me. Can't touch this. Also, I Man. love it. You can. Uh, Blind Bob's got some really squeaky poles in his neighborhood. Yeah, I know, right? Well, there's nothing worse than it. Never mind. Um, I like that you can do this. You are supposed to be hearing his speech now. Yes, Austin. HRTF enabled. You can toggle the HRTF. Oh my God! Did you add those stupid bird scooters to blinded guide? Asked Super. Scores of ours ninety nine out of one hundred three points. Press enter to continue. No. Oh, that's a good idea though. Level two. Live left three. That is a great. Now you have to actually play the game. Because I think there's stuff in the way now. Maybe not. Ooh, that was kind of close. So yes, it's blinded guide, but better, faster, stronger. And with HRTF, which sounds really good, by the way. And, uh... God, I'm always afraid he's going to run into something. Also, the other cool thing is when you turn towards stuff... It turns now, it rotates correctly. So like if I turn towards the dog. Get away from the dog. Yeah, no. Level complete. Your score was 130. That level didn't have uh, trees or hydrants either, did it? It comes later. For oh. the easy. Way to go. You earned an extra life. Press enter to continue. Level 3. Live left 4. Press enter to continue. This is kind of boring. Oh, well, there's the tree. Yep. I kind of want to hit the tree. I'm going to hit a tree. Oh, well, there's the hydrant. I hear the hydrant. Do -do 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 Oh, that's a tree. I'm gonna hit the tree. I'm gonna hit the tree. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Man, Blind Bob must be built Blind like Bob a tank or extremely fat. <laughs> Why? Because he knocked the tree over? Yeah. Why does Bob still not have a cane? This is the state of services in so many uh, rural parts of the country. <laughs> Says Super Freak. Yeah, it's it's problematic. You think that you have a... Uh... Look at that. Avoid the tree. Oh, there's a hydrant. So far, the street's pretty safe, isn't it? Bailey says he's super dramatic. Well, I mean, if you had a, tra a tree fall on you, you might His be sure. His is so over the top. So, oh, no, he didn't just bump his head. He made the whole tree fall yeah, on him. Yeah, the so tree fell on him. Did. Super Freak says maybe he has an ID cane. Yeah, I don't know why he doesn't have a cane. I mean, anyway, this is Blinded Guide, so Liam did release a version of this on his uh, website. Yeah, 1.1 1. 1 um, is out. Yeah, this is 1.2. Right. Level 4. Live left. Free. Press enter to continue. Uh, let's walk into the dog. Superfix says, I will send the dog. Hey, Hey, Liam, remember that ding sound we had for 4th Arlen? Yeah. You should um put that in after the bite. <laughs> <laughs> yes yes i think that would make it so much better okay. i really do i mean <laughs> it's the wrong side but it's i it's fine i approve well no he's facing the dog though that's true yeah so the dog is gonna get him yeah, right there it's true so um that is blinded guide. Um, blinded guide I don't. Menu, more game sounds. Change language. I just wanted to show you really. So quickly. yeah, the HRTF is actually working right. I'm kind of listening to it as he's going. Um, it's just that, like, even though some of the th things sound super centered, he is dodging them by that very, very slight variation. Why is his name Oliver? <laughs> um, because that was my ex's neighbor's dog name, and that thing barked at everything. Mm -hmm. So Oliver lives on in game. <clears throat> yeah, the HRTF I still think is a work in progress. I, I don't know if it's completely it working, but I think it's a vast improvement. So if you play the game originally, you'll notice that when you turn, the sounds don't turn. Um, this is a huge step up. There's a lot of other really nice things that are cool about this that are cool. Um, so I'm excited, um, but I just wanted to show you guys really quick because um, it's I've been spending a lot of time on it, and uh, yeah, so it is a thing. Um, I have no roadmap right now, um, but I hope that you know before 2037 you'll get to play it. <laughs> uh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. So. But that's um that's yeah some of the stuff that I've been doing um obviously like I said the moves coming up so my focus has been um like starting tomorrow I'm gonna start packing things are gonna go in boxes things are gonna get packed um it's just the way of things um I, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm missing a theorem I do we I think that's about it to um, be honest with you just remember to stay tuned for scramble. Tuesday, 4 p.m. Um, Eastern that's, that's or coming so, out. Uh, I will be recording more lines for Scramble. I got the okay to record the lines on YouTube. Um, so if you want to come watch me record some voiceovers, kind of want to see how it's going. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. Um, Scramble is supposed to come out, I believe, Friday. I hope Friday. That's what's Yep. Doing. 
said. So, I mean, maybe Saturday if there's a last minute issue. But uh, I will be streaming it Saturday afternoon. And um, a few other things I'd like to stream coming up in the coming weeks. Eventually, though, I do have to take the computer apart and pack it up. So that's going to, you know, put a damper on the streams for a little bit. But uh, I'm glad you guys could join me for the Super Liam stream. I think it was a lot of fun. I'm. It was a ton of fun. I, it, it's so cool to play through the game and, and tell stories and talk about like what the ideas were. Um, and it was kind of cool to show you guys the tech demo of SL2 and kind of show you like mm-hmm. what I think the game could be, what I want, lo- what I'd like to work on, um, things that I'd like to do with it. You know, and and who knows where that will go in the future. I mean, I'm not going to close any doors at this point. Um, anything's possible. And as you're seeing, listen, I'm just going to say this. If Blinded Guide 1.2 is possible, yeah, that's where we're going to go. You know what I mean? Like, that's all I'm going to say is oh, yeah. if that's possible, think about what else is possible. And, you know, and I'm, I'm glad you guys could join me for that. Um, yeah, Stephen Crouch says, man, it was fun hearing you play Super Liam Garrett. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Super I was says, very yeah. happy to be here. This I'm was a blast. Psyched for scramble. Uh, yeah, if you made it so you could speed, uh, slow down or speed up, you could, uh, do timing obstacles. Yeah, you actually probably could. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Um, will it make easier, easier? I don't. I don't know how to answer that question, Patrick. So I'm just going to say puppies. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. Stay tuned. Make sure to hit like if you enjoyed the stream. Yes, please click that like button. It, I guess it raises the video in search results. So please do it. Um, and before I go, I promised you the final credits music. Uh, but before I go, I'd like to read the Patreons one more time. Let me throw that up there on the screen. Again, um, if it were not for patrons and Patreon, I would not be streaming. There would not be a Super Liam stream. Uh, I would be working on other stuff. There would be nothing. So um, special thanks to the patrons today. Um, let me... There they are. So big thanks to Marco Garatoni, Doug Shock, Crystal Bell, Jessica Miller, Wandering Waves, Michael Lau, James Dean, Jim Denham, Anya Kristen, Trevor Johnson, Kevin Lyon, Stephen Luttrell, Simon Yeager, Shane Davidson, Austin Nix, Sarah Hawk, Jason Smith, Blind Life Gaming, Michael Welty, Luna Raven, Heather Messaker, Audio Game Geek, Melissa Rowe, Hillary Duncan, Ashley Coleman, Shane Erlay, Courtney Barton, Bryant and Roland Engelsma. Oh, and there's more. Kenny Abdullah Dupace, <laughs> Changeling, and Jack Filichek. Uh, thanks to all of you that are awesome patrons. Uh, thanks to everyone who tuned in on HKC Radio. Thanks to everyone who tuned in on YouTube. Uh, hope you guys had fun on Quentin C. I haven't really checked it like I should. Um, I've, I think I caught most everything. Yeah. So as, as far as I know, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. So, um, again, I want to thank you guys for being here. I could not have done done it without you. Thank you so much for the donations. Uh, they will help immensely. Um, I'm looking forward to use, doing some really cool things when I move. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier to stream at. So one of the things that um, people have wanted, especially those in Europe, have wanted some earlier streams. Uh, I'll be able to do that. I'll have a lot more freedom uh, and an office to work in, and I'm excited. So, um, again, thank you so much. It is It means a lot. I'm glad you guys could be here. I'm glad I could share, like, something that I think is important to me and I think important to a lot of other people and means a lot to a lot of other people. And I'm glad, Athir, you could join me as well. Um, so, with that being said... It was a ton of fun. How about we... Uh, How's my voiceover stuff going? Um, uh, what, I, I mean, like, okay, I guess. Um, we're going to be doing voiceover work on Tuesday. So come check that out. That's going to be fun. But um, it's time to go. 
Uh, as always, thanks for watching and or listening. I'm going to leave you guys with the final credits music. I know you want to hear it. Um, I know this was kind of a short marathon, so I apologize. But, uh, Theer, thank you for being here. It was about a five-hour marathon almost. Yeah, wasn't too bad. Four hour. I'm sorry, four so, hour. So um, we'll see you guys later. Here's the credits music you all know and love. Bye, see you everyone. on Tuesday. <laughs>